It was like, oh, did you see a ghost? And this is paint. when they spray paint the logo. The Our logo. logo. Yeah. Right. Because Kevin was all supposed to come up with the logo. And what mm-hmm. was the logo Kevin came up with? A uh, ghost with titties. Big old titties. <laughs> Should have been t- bigger in my opinion. It's time to hack the movies with Johanna and Crystal and this other person. And what's her face? Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special episode of Hack the Movies. I'm Johanna from Hack the Movies. And with me is... Hi, I'm Crystal, in case you didn't know. I'm Kira. And I'm in salad. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> the most requested guest I've ever heard on this show. I don't know why. <laughs> You're the best guest. I think like, so, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been on this show probably like 20 times at least, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. OG yeah. cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. OJ. Yeah. That's what we got. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to review our favorite movie, 2016 Ghostbusters. <sighs> Man, did you watch this one? I did. One and a half times. <laughs> that's more than... One and a half? <laughs> I started, I watched it in like bits and pieces. I finished it. And then this morning I watched it while driving here, but couldn't finish it. I was too invested in the conversation and the car was more interested (laughs) than the, um, the actual movie. Understandable. Cause I also watched it in bits and pieces. I started last night around Seven, maybe I finished the movie at like five thirty today. Oh my god! So yeah. it almost took me yeah, yeah. twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah. So. Same. It was it was rough. Did you watch the whole thing in one no, piece? No, no, no. I think I watched it four different times. Oh, okay. Uh, and most uh, two out of those times, I only got halfway through it. Nice. Yeah. I turned it on probably eleven o'clock this morning as I was working and kept pausing it and forgot what happened and how to rewind. I was like, what? What? I don't think I watched it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened. I think I'm the mint salad right now because I don't know if I even watched it or not. <laughs> I still don't know if I watched it. <laughs> Do any of us we have like, to watch the movie? Yeah, what happened? I don't like, <laughs> it is. It's a really bad fever dream that I want to forget. Oh my God. Uh, so, so I guess uh, we all hated it. Is that yeah. the yeah. general consensus? Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not. Great. Thinking. So uh, <laughs> I guess we'll start on how the movie happened and how plot <laughs> happened with it. I don't. You're it's, great. I know. It's so bad. So was the purpose of this movie to be a straight remake uh, and include female empowerment in it? Because mm. I feel like they did not succeed on that at all whatsoever. They did it. I don't feel as if they did a good job doing female empowerment because they kept, I think if you mention female empowerment and female jokes, yeah. or you keep just mentioning it over and over and beating people in the head, you're doing the opposite. If you yeah. don't mention it at all, mm-hmm. Ta-da! Now it's more of equality kind of thing. And then you're doing an actual remake where it's the same exact movie, same exact scenes, but done differently. If you did it like how the cartoon is, the cartoon's awesome. You just do a different type of storyline and you add some females in it, mm-hmm. try and make it a little different. Mm-hmm. That could have worked. Yeah. That's not what they did here. I think they failed. I also feel like they didn't really have anybody as an actual character either. It was all very, oh, I'm fun and quirky with my queef jokes and this other yeah, stuff. That's so and many queef I jokes. forgot their names so often because it was just like, that was the whole character. Just, I literally, I'm quirky. So, <laughs> yeah, I grabbed yeah. one of the name tags because I was like, I don't know who this is. <laughs> yeah, I'm just slapping yeah. it on to look like I watched the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so bad. Man, the dialogue was, your... was horrible. It was. Man, I, it just seemed like all of it was made up and it's like, oh, great. I'm glad we this ex- dialogue exists in the world. Yeah. I'm glad that this movie is so good that it just blows my brain. <laughs> yeah. It's like, here, let's do an improv movie yeah. and uh, with some SNL type characters and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, but they committed sacrilege because the scene when they're in like, uh, what's it, the uh, venue where the concert is being held, mm-hmm. uh, Michael McDonald, I think that's his name, walks up to mm-hmm. him and he's a mad TV. I mean, that is guy. true. Yeah. He is mad TV. Mm. He is mad TV. They did some blending. Look at that. Yeah. I actually liked Michael. He was the most memorable character. Unfortunately, I like the males in this movie more than the females. Mm. Kevin's great. Kevin's great. (laughs) Great character. As much as he is annoying, he was 
fun. I think it's because it's Chris Hemsworth. I could stand too. Kevin. Really? really? Oh, he got under my skin. He's so bad. Oh, God. All right. Which character out of this entire movie got under your skin the most? Kevin. Kevin. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'd have to say Kevin, too. Yeah. Just because... Wow. Why would you include? Why would he be a receptionist? Right, he was doing nothing. He He's so doing, incompetent he, as a yeah. character. Guys, guys, remember this was supposed to be a female empowerment movie, so they had to hire the guy. But remember, they only hired him because he's good looking. Eye candy, yeah. I, you know, wait, aren't they not supposed to do that? That's mm-hmm. what I was gonna say. It kind of defeated the purpose. Yeah, like, everything they were doing was yep. just like reverse misogyny. Because if you, right? yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because the questions they were asking during his interview, I'm sure we're going to go back into this, was exactly the opposite you should say. If it was the roles reversed, they would be in so much trouble. Like, yeah. you can't say that kind of stuff. So why are you... Yeah. You're making things worse. Stop yeah. making things worse. My most hated character, and I actually really like her. I love Kate McKinnon. I think mm. she's good with certain things. Mm-hmm. And I think she's extraordinarily talented. I think all of these actors are very, very talented. Oh, yeah. But not it's not proven in this movie. Yeah. Jillian Holzer, Holtzman, whatever her name is. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Called you out. Way too over the top, obnoxious the entire time. I could not stand I her. Agree. Because she could not, if she toned it down by half, yeah. I could be able to stand her. Yeah. Way, way trying way too she hard. Was definitely and she definitely second fit. for me. Yeah. Which she, one's Holtzman again? Is she Aaron? Who's Aaron? The blonde. Aaron. Oh, the blonde. The Hillary Holtzman? Clinton yeah. one. Yeah. Because yeah. she was yeah. playing Harry, for Hillary yeah, Clinton. Yeah, she was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a scene when like they first come out of uh the mansion and she's like, I believe in ghosts now. I did enjoy her acting that scene, but not not hers. Uh she was doing this weird thing in the background. The I don't time. even know what we'll she was doing. We'll go into this stuff. <laughs> yeah. There are so like, many times where weird. you're just like Let's actually like get into the actual. Oh, okay, you must hate a character though. Oh, uh, I would have to say Melissa McCarthy's character because I thought she was way too obnoxious. Like really? she was just rude for no reason. And like the soup thing over and over. Like oh, it's one wonton, one shrimp. Why yeah. would you buy from the same Chinese place if you, this keeps happening? Just yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah. A different Chinese place. You're in New York. Every exactly. block has a don't, Chinese don't place. Say yeah. New York. There's hundreds. There's hundreds. Yes, I'm very picky on my wonton soup. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If I get that one that's that shitty, gross. Like it feels like the the pasta's kind of melting, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. like the meat's not good. And I'm only getting like two. Oh, uh-uh, I'm never ordering there again. Stuff. You can take shit. Oh, you can take shit. Take shit. Yeah, curse. I don't care. <laughs> you want your shit al dente. Exactly. I feel you, okay? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, that's how we like our so food. let's actually get into the plot, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, so <laughs> what plot? What plot exactly? <laughs> what was the that's plot? why I said plot. <laughs> so starts out. We have Kristen Wiig's character. I forget her name. Erin. Uh, Erin. Uh, I literally uh, copy the IMDb. Erin and Abby. Aaron She's got tenure at this university. I forget what the school Columbia. is. Yeah. Thank Columbia, you. Because yeah. I forget everything about this movie because I just don't want it in my brain. <laughs> I just watched this last well last night into today. Right. A um, recommendation from Harvard wasn't enough. Yeah. yeah. So Princeton. 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 My fault. Yeah, that was right. yeah. Princeton. I paid attention to the first 10 minutes because I was actually, I was like, oh, this is actually not that bad. At this first. is not that bad. Right. Until Melissa McCarthy came along. And I was like, <laughs> ah, movie's done. I don't like Erin, though. She's too awkward of a character to uh, exist. Yeah, Just I feel like she played why? the same character she did, like Kristen Wiig, um, in uh, Wonder Woman 84. That would make more like, sense. Like, literally, it was yeah. like Cheetah, but except she doesn't turn into Cheetah. Okay. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yes, yeah. here I am. I'm yeah, so awkward. And, you know, I know stuff. And cause... the fact that she's playing almost the counterpart of um, Bill Murray. Mm-hmm. Bill Murray has literally has swag. He yeah. has swag. He you, does. you know he's going to get past, you know, because what he also, like, his whole thing, he was like a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, he was a scientist. Right. Like he's trying to pretend like he has that swag against him or for him. Chris or Aaron, whatever her name is. Does not. I love that we all just don't know the <laughs> I know. I literally have to look. I'm like, that's Kristen Wiig's picture and her name says Aaron next to it. Yeah. You say, you've, you've also only seen this like once prior or is this like your first time? Yeah, first time. first time. I saw it once a long time ago. I saw it once when it came out. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm going to, you know, give it a chance. Why not? But again, don't remember anything from that time. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I was like, oh yeah, Chris Hemsworth was in this. Yeah. 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 But I just I just remember, okay, like a lot of people are hating on this hardcore. Yeah. But it's not that bad. And then I rewatched it for the second time and I'm like, oh no, it, it really is that is bad. Because yeah. yeah. I was at least I got like a chuckle or two out of some jokes, but like 
watching it again, I'm like, oh, you got literally one chuckle this time. <laughs> yeah. It's Ooh. really bad. We missed actually the very beginning. With uh, Zach Woods. Oh, that's Who, right. Well, that and that's actually what got me interested. And that's why I thought it wasn't going to be that bad. Oh, in the mansion, I, in the Eldritch mm -hmm, Mansion. Yes, because right. I actually really like Zach Woods. I yeah. love him in the Office. He plays that awkward character so well. He's good that's at in it. love with Eric. He's great. Oh, literally another Eric. Never seen the Office. I. Oh, it is good. I do love yeah, the Office. Yeah, yeah, I do love the Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the Office? I've binged all nine seasons. Oh but my god, I'm the only like, person. It took like there's no in-betweeners though. Four so years. we have to get you to watch it and see where you stand. Because oh they either really love good. it or they think it's trash. At oh least the first, until Steve Carell leaves the office, then mm. it gets a little iffy. And you're like, ah, oh, it's not the same love. Like it's not as comfort. Like the office really does feel as if you're with your friends kind of thing. It okay. does feel like a family and you're hanging out with them because it's the awkward weirdness that happens in an office. Yeah, and, yeah. But it's, they it's actually so much really job. So naturally. Too. Okay. Oh, okay. not not as bad. It's not as bad as your job. <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Um, but yeah. So, uh, tour guy Garrett. Mm. I, compl here. I completely forgot yeah, yeah. about this part. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed it because walking around saying how this mansion is haunted, mm. and for some reason though, that was odd. Just happens to be the one time. Where this ghost does come alive yeah. that's in the basement and it's the daughter of some uh, rich person. Yeah. Do you, yeah, so it's some daughter of a rich person <clears throat> that actually killed all the help. In yeah, he, their sleep. he gave the backstory. It was something like um, he ended up locking was her away. They yes. locked her in the way. Gertrude Eldridge. Yeah, yes. they locked Gertrude. her in the basement. He locked her away in the basement. He murdered all of the servants yeah. Yeah. instead of turning her into the police. Which, okay, so how do you explain all the dead bodies? Or maybe they called the police, got maybe that they, cleared out? This could have been a long time ago where police didn't care. Yeah, that's, that's true. also true. Yeah, yeah they're just like, all right, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> there, she's down in the basement, it's haunting the basement. All of a sudden, she comes up mm. and actually almost like drags Garrett or le uh, leads Garrett down to the basement, and he right. starts freaking out. I right. thought he was dead at that point. Me yeah. too. But I do when like, I saw him again, it was weird. Yeah, I was like, is this the ghost? Was he possessed? End? Yeah, because, she, yeah, because he, the stairs, was there was like the railing. Out. Yeah, everything kind of collapsed. collapsed. So he was like hanging on to the yeah. top step. And, the, and there the was door. also like slime on there too. Yeah, so, so I don't know. But I By like the, way, the colors um, though. The whole thing when he was showing the tour guide stuff, whatever, where he made it look like the candle was thrown. It's like, ooh, yes. I actually like that as a deep fake, yes. by the way. Yeah, I was like, oh. Have. I thought that was clever. That was actually really nice. It slightly bothered me. Really? Because I enjoyed it. But when the candle fell over and he's like, okay, maybe let's just stay away from that door. And everyone's just stepping over the, why the fuck wouldn't you pick it up? Oh yeah, that's, that's a liability. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right, someone's talking sense over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, OSHA police. All right. But, so that happened. Yeah, I yeah. actually liked it. I liked the colors. I liked I liked that scene. And then you see Kristen Wiig, mm. Aaron. Right. Yeah, once right. you get tenured. Right. Yeah. I forget Charles Dance, that I think, is the uh actor who is like I guess like the yeah. head of the school or whatever. Yeah, Charles right. Dance. Um I love him. Mm. By the way, I love everything he I don't know if you've watched Game of Thrones. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, so no, all right, me and it. you no, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> the first few seasons are good. Uh I personally, because I read the books, yeah. think that oh, once that. you get to the middle of season four, it just kind of just Would you derails. suggest you just read the books then? Always. Um, <laughs> I, I would, lie. but I would wait until they're all out if they ever all come out because. Oh, right, uh, it ended, well, it didn't fully, and they kept going. Okay. <laughs> and the one book's still supposed to it's be. It's like The Walking out. Dead, that the comics kind of are kind of still coming out. The comics of that is absolutely more phenomenal than the TV series. Oh, yeah. And right. it, but the show has already bypassed. Where Way they are. bypassed. Doesn't they also the didn't line. follow the storyline like at all. Oh wow. no! There's some things there that is, they took from it still, yeah. but like it doesn't follow and it's at not, all. Walking Dead comics are so much more brutal. Right. So much more brutal. Oh, yeah. Where little twin girls are getting their heads cut off, oh, and it's not wow. even by the zombies either. Like it's just, it's, it's really like, does yeah yeah by the prisoner. Yeah exactly. Yeah <clears throat> it shows. I'm assuming humanity. you've seen. Walking I've Dead. been reading the I've comics. I've seen a couple it, there's episodes. There's so much. Better. I played the yeah. games. So okay, exactly. I love there you the games. go. Yeah. But what it is is that it shows that humanity is actually way worse than the dead, mm -hmm. and yeah. I feel like the show doesn't convey that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these are things that you know, books and comics. A lot of times, there it's easier to convey mm -hmm. because a lot of times, movies or TV shows sometimes they take a story, and they make it more entertainment yeah. than coming up with a good story. At least nowadays, I feel like it's getting worse and worse. Or they yeah. try to cram way too much into. Things don't have to be so complicated. Yeah, yeah, Things yeah. don't have to be complicated. They don't. Yeah. No. So anyway, she's trying <laughs> to go for a tenure. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she uh, 
in this universe knows what Reddit is, but doesn't know how to close a browser. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Can yeah. You, true. I didn't understand that. Just like yeah. holds it up to the yeah, uh, let's screen, just have a, obviously. A, a, like, oh, I'm not going to look at that at all. Just minimize yeah. the freaking window. You <laughs> Anything. Yeah, oh, the reason God. she's trying to hide it is because she published a book with her friend Abby. Right. And it's about how ghosts exist. Right. Which is and not good for an established. Apparently science. there was only supposed to be two copies that ever existed. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming it was like her copy and Abby's copy. Right. And no, now it's on like Amazon and everywhere else. You can right, like right, buy right. It Audible uh, books and stuff like that. Yeah, right. whatever it was. <sighs> so I do like the little, uh, I don't know if it's in this scene or the scene later that you actually do see Harold Ramis's uh, head as a statue because oh. they make an appearance. Most of the scene. original make appearance and it has, it's actually a huge shot and it's right there for a really long time. Oh. And for a second, I'm like, why are they lingering on this shot for a while? Yeah, but it's it's actual Harold um, Harold Ramis's um, head, which oh. I thought was really cool yeah, as a statue yeah. in Columbia. Oh. I was like, because he passed away. Yeah. I forget. I think it was early two thousand, late two thousand. I don't remember. Somewhere in two thousand, um, and he passed away. So they he couldn't make a physical appearance, but everyone still almost fit him in there. That's yeah, cute. almost everyone made an appearance, almost except. Um, oh my god, why am I like on Bill scene? Murray? No, 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 Bill, Bill Murray's Murray definitely. There. Yeah, he's, he's there? He's, I yeah, thought he yeah. didn't want to be in it. Or like, he's like, oh, no more. No more You're the one movies. that watched it one and a half times. By the I don't pay guys. attention he to things. He shows up twice. And he, he, yeah. Where? He, he, he's, he's like death scene. scene. He's he the critic big, dude, and yeah. he gets thrown out the window at the one part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he comes in, he's just like, I want to see proof that you have the ghost. Yeah, which I feel like needs to be addressed. She murdered him. She flat out she murdered him. She literally killed him. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. We'll get back to it. We'll get back. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. There's so much to say about this goddamn yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Uh, the one person that doesn't is, um, oh my God, I fucking love, I'm the worst with names. I'm absolutely the worst. We literally Which were just one? talking Which, about he's this. He's the one that's on, um, um, now I'm literally forgetting the fucking Little Shop of Heart. Um, little Shop. Um, what is his name? The main actor? The yeah. The glasses? Oh, I can't think of his name either. <laughs> Ed, Help us. Eddie? I know everyone is right now probably telling us what his name is. We're, and gonna, we're, just like, we're gonna not have this part in. I'm gonna <laughs> just Google it. Um, I love him. I, I he's actually my favorite really actor. Do. Yeah. I'm definitely. <laughs> She's my favorite actor of all time. Rick Moranis. <laughs> what is it? Rick Moranis. Yes. Oh, yes. So, Rick Moranis. Right, so. so, yeah, I really love that Harold Ramis' head's in here, but mm -hmm. every single person makes an appearance except, uh, what's his face? Um, Rick Moranis? Rick Moranis. He's the only one that doesn't make an appearance in this, but almost a lot of them, the original ones do, which. Yeah. Was, was Dan in it? Dan Aykroyd? I yes. Don't remember seeing yeah, yes. He was the cab driver who was going to pick yeah. up Kristen Wiig's character. Yeah. Oh, and then he was just like, well. I ain't afraid of no ghosts and speeds off. And okay. I'm like, I don't go to Chinatown. I don't drive wackos and I ain't afraid of no ghosts. So yeah. I thought the Dean at the place that Abby was working at, I thought that was supposed to be like a great value version of Dan. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar store version. Yeah, yeah. Great value. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. Uh, so Erin, trying to get her tenure. Right. Goes to visit Abby to be like, why the hell did you publish this book again? Right. This is a thing we did together. This should have been a mutual decision. I didn't want this out. And Abby was just like, I don't care. Yeah. I hate her. <laughs> I hate she. She's so Worst character. She's so gross. Like, yeah, yeah. oh, I don't care. You left me. Blah blah blah. I agree. That sign did tick me off. I was like, bitch, lawyer up. Just leave the lawyer up. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Oh, lawyer up. Yeah. Her reason for keeping the book is, oh, it's making me money. It's right. like, why? Yeah. Why would Aaron care about you making money? Right. Like, yeah. what's the point she's in trying that? to? get established yeah. here. Yeah. You're like, you want to make oh, money? No. I'm going to take your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will get my lawyer. <laughs> oh, because you want a tenure? He's like, bet you want money. What do you fucking think? Right. Like, yeah, I want my career. That's what you're we're just doing. Money. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I, also, why did that guy go to um, Aaron first? Go to Aaron first. Oh yeah. If Abby's information was right on the uh, oh, Amazon wrong. Maybe it was website. Yeah. easier to get to her because she's in a school. Maybe she's more established. That too, yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Because technically true. her picture was shown first. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, the one character came. They didn't every... give us like any. What is his name again? He was the the grandson or son of the dude. The grand, I think it was the grandson. Yeah. What, what yeah, was yeah. the last name again? Eldridge. El we'll go of with the that. mansion. Yeah, it was Eldridge. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because uh, he ended up coming. I skipped that too. Uh, <laughs> I hate this movie. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up coming to Kristen Wiig's character, Erin, to be like, "Hey, like this my place, place is haunted." haunted. Yeah. Uh, 
I saw your book. Mm. And she's like, what book? And then he's like, you know, showing her. She's like, yeah, that's yeah. not me. And he's like, are you sure? Because it look, looks this a lot like you. you. And I'm like, yeah, all yeah. right, we get it. We get it. So like, I guess she was the primary photo. It's just weird because he's like, oh, like I purchased it. Like it's available on Amazon. They even have like the audio yep. book. Yeah. But when she went to the actual site that she didn't know how to minimize her exit when her manager came in. Um, and I don't I don't remember seeing any information on her. But under Abby, it was literally like her is address. still practicing at this school. Yeah. So yeah. I don't, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. no, because it's stupid. You know why not? Because it's stupid. This is stupid. Not I really hate very well written movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no plot holes. I mean, we we review a lot of movies, and a lot of them are really stupid. But this no. is really fucking stupid. Yeah, like hate, not even a fun way. I hate this movie, and I hate that I have to talk about it. I know. Like this is like pulling teeth. Like this is like hurt. That's why we are all drinking yeah, a lot of that, alcohol. And I just have like all what? these notes water. to kind of keep me together. But obviously, as Don't you play. see, I'm not Don't together play. That's not water. because. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So she goes to uh, Abby. She goes selfish to Abby. Abby. Oh, don't forget, they make the joke about the soup. Right. For some reason, the delivery guy comes one, in at the same one time. One wonton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Takes him an hour each time to deliver one wonton. And then we get to meet Oh So Quirky. Um, I don't even remember character. Quirky name. and relatable. Um, Holtzman. We'll just look at look at your boob every time we can't remember. Holtzman. 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 Kate McKinnon. Yes. Holtzman. Who's literally Who playing just, her Hillary Clinton character for some reason? Yeah. And she's just sitting there, pops out of nowhere. Yeah. And is massively obnoxious. Yes. And doesn't stop. And she's on the same. I like movies where there's character arches. Usually, even little characters, small, minor characters have she's arches. A little bit of like development. She's yeah. here the entire time. And yeah. that's way more than anyone wants. Yeah. It doesn't stop. When she it was doesn't. initially it really sucks because I like yeah. all of these actors. Like, I like yeah. all of them. But this... Yeah. yeah, when she was initially introduced, I was like, oh, cool. She looks cool. I, I like her design. Mm. And then she comes out with the, the queef joke <laughs> when she gets Aaron to comes listen to the, radio, like, yeah. to the record player. I hate it. And that. it's like, oh, great. I hate you now. Good job. <laughs> that it is... Was, it was I like, literally. Uh -huh. It's a fart joke. Yeah. Oh, would it be funnier if I told you it came out the front? I was like, I want to turn this movie off and yeah, burn yeah, it. Yeah. And then when they like play on it, cause she's like, oh, what are you going to give me a wedgie next? So you're aware that this was like a shitty immature joke, but you kept it in. That was a choice. Because I mean, I guess, I guess it's up. for, <laughs> I guess it's for Aaron to be like, hey, you guys are being immature, but like, no. Guys, no. it's funny because it's a vagina joke and girl uh, power. Because and... that's yeah. what girls like to hear and think so it was funny. Yeah. Like Especially every... little girls, which is supposed to be so female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's talk about vagina. Let's explain. Like, Wait, guys, guys. Way guys. earlier than necessary. We must. Dominate. Dominate. <laughs> <laughs> With grief <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Like, I'm already not a fan of fart jokes. Like, I'm already, like, if I hear it, I'm just like, eh, it's not my style. Yeah. I don't know. It's if it's a good fart really yeah, I was going to say, if it's there's a good fart really joke, good. I'm going to be like on the floor peeing myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like that wasn't fun at all. Even yeah, as wasn't. a normal fart joke, I was like, you are trying. Yeah. And all I wrote was, Kate McKinnon is already annoying. Fart joke, <laughs> ugh. Really came from the front. And oh my God, these jokes. Also, like, Those were my notes. There was a joke fit in in the beginning uh, when he's walking through the tour. And he says like, oh, you know, they had, they were really rich. They had a face bidet. They had this like anti-Irish <laughs> electric fence. And I was like, did Kate make that joke? Because <laughs> it was, there was a SNL skit with her and, uh, what's it, Louis C.K.? Oh. Remember when they were like Polish oh. and like super racist? Oh my God, yeah. And it made me think of that. So I was like, did she fit that in there? <laughs> did she have any uh, writing in there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and right when they, before they, uh, I don't we didn't get to this part yet. Never mind, not yet. Sorry, yeah, no, I we're can't. We this haven't hurts. even had them go this look for a ghost hurts. yet. <laughs> it oh hurts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay. But now, yeah, they, okay. So we're there. Yeah. yeah they now we can other. go there. So yeah, oh, they do a little they, bickering they, thing, or whatever. Yeah, and they're and like, they go so to bad. the mansion, the Eldritch Mansion. Yes. Yeah. And they meet out front with. With the God, only I have cool the IMDb character app. in the movie. Uh, yes, tour guide Garrett. Exactly. And then the tour pacing, guide Garrett for the win. The pacing of the comedic scene where it's like, oh, um, this guy died about 15 years ago. Mm. And then it's like, what? 
He could have had it uh, hold on for longer, create some tension, and then the guy walks in. I was like, oh, this is senior, but it was way yeah. too quick. It was very immediate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It confused me. That's I mean, the true. pacing in the movie is the, the whole problem pacing, in general. It's so. all over the place. <laughs> yeah. like, there's, you would think for a comedy, you would have, especially for people that their lives are in the comedy industry, yeah. you would think, because like you can they write things, but you can feel the comedic pacing. You can say them, yeah. and it just does not feel on. Yeah. Your comedic pacing for people that do it for a living, and I know they have it, was not there. So is that the actor's issue? Is that the director's issue? Is this an editing issue? I don't know if it's all fucking three, but yeah. there was fucking comedic timing issues where it just it felt flat and flat and flat. Speak I really felt like they just let them improv too much. Yeah. I yeah. think that was the overall problem. Yeah. But they're good improvers. Yeah. That's the thing that sucks. And I think you But guys I think they let it go on for too long. It wasn't yeah. like, oh, you get this short period of time, like on SNL, like, oh, you have this short period of time right. to do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But they didn't do that. They were just like, oh, yeah, do what you want. The yeah. entire scene's going to be improv. That'll be good. <laughs> Redeemable and quality when they go in the mansion. I actually really liked the ghost. I would like to see more of her. She, she actually reminded me of. <laughs> I did. Uh, I don't know. Anybody's been to Disney World or Disneyland? No, you're gonna mm. mention this. I know. I've been it. to Disneyland. No. Uh, in the Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Uh, Constance the Bride. Uh, yep. Oh, okay. Yep. That's who she looked like. I know like. the lore, yes. so I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's who she looked like. All of the ghosts remind me of that feel because of the blue, because of the the glow that they all mm -hmm. had. Yeah, the very ethereal look. It, yeah. Yes, it really reminded me. And I actually, I know a lot of people didn't like the designs of the ghosts and maybe they're comparing it well, a lot. I actually did. I enjoyed yeah. it. That was actually, so, I was like, there's little things I enjoyed in this movie. Yeah. Overall, I didn't like the I movie. I love the look of the ghost. The though. look of the ghost yeah. was my favorite. Yeah. Not all the ghosts, but most of them, like I would say 90% of the ghosts, mm -hmm. I actually yeah. truly, truly enjoyed and wanted to see more of that style. Yeah. And I wanted to see that theme and that kind of energy of that playfulness. So if you're going to have that fun, playful, like Disney kind of look, yeah. then keep that energy, that kind of thing going for the whole movie. Take yeah. out your, if you're going to have that, take out those stupid queef jokes and stuff like that. Figure out who your audience is and play yeah. to that audience and create that atmosphere. But your atmosphere is up here and down here and over here and over here. I think you so where people are over. Head. Yeah, it was just all over the place. It was yeah. all over. They didn't know who they, they're they trying to make something. Yeah much bigger than what they could handle. Yeah, every time you felt like, okay, this is the direction they're taking, I might be able to, you know, vibe with this. Yeah, they, they let it you did know. it, it did yeah. it. So they go in there, the ghost, oh, they also were talking a whole bunch about poop jokes, uh, how the guy <laughs> kept, uh, the guy, uh, tour guide Garrett kept pooping his pants. Yeah, they did. And they went, they that did that for times. like, it felt like a five minute yeah. Yeah. on joke. Even when the ghosts happened, she's like, oh, did he open the door? And she's like, who? The guy that didn't poop his pants. It's like, okay. We got it. It's like we, we got, got it. it. They poop, get poop, it. poop. We yeah, get yeah. it. We got it. You're trying to be like a quirky guy who talks poop jokes. Like stop. <laughs> Pick what. Like you're trying to be this like quirky female that does queef jokes, but you're also trying to be a dude that does like poop jokes. Like and I also, feel like you're like, trying so hard instead of just allowing the comedy to naturally happen. Yeah. And they're all like the same character too. Like all no, of them. Yes. Yeah. It, yes. It's not like oh one's this established character. This yeah, one. Yeah. It's they're all the fun quirky. We're making poop and type of like weird jokes. Yeah. I think maybe exactly. Kristen Wiig's character probably so, had the little bit of a more of, of a per, uh, personality. Yeah. She was a little more mature than the. Rest I was of the gang, I guess. until Leslie Jones come in and then she clearly was just oh yes, let's just. Make you a caricature. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Oh my God. So I, it was a love hate relationship with Leslie Jones's character because while in certain scenes I did relate because she did do certain things that I feel like I, as a black woman, would react the same way. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, this is the same, and maybe that's what she likes. I don't know. But this is the same caricature that she always plays. Like, it is. She, she which is fine, because again, like that is very, some of them are very authentic reactions, but can we get more? You yeah. are literally just that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't get any sort of substance there from was her no, character. Yeah, there was no arch of her character. No. There was no storyline of her character. No. Her character was there, and this is that stereotype. Here yeah. is your your type, not even stereotype. Here's your type character. Same thing with all the other ones. They each, the only people that I think that there's any type of interesting art going on mm. was um, Aaron and Abby. I did like their relationship throughout this movie because yeah. I feel like there was obviously an arc from I hated you to, oh my gosh, you saved my, like we're best friends, we saved each other's yeah, lives, right. like thank you. 
I like the chemistry between them, mm -hmm. but the other two and then mix them did not work because you have four strong comedic actors that are all on the same page. You don't have, and I know Aaron was supposed to be the more of the reserved one and yeah. dorky, the each, and uh, Abby was more of the strong, this is my, this is my uh, life and my power. And Jillian was, I'm the quirky Einstein-ish. Like they each had like, Aaron was Peter, Abby was Ray, Allison was, uh, what's his, uh, I'm sorry, no, uh, or Alice. Jillian was, um, um, Dorky, um, what is his name? character? Uh, Egon? Egon? I mean, we just or, uh, said his name. No, not that one. Oh. Oh my God. Egon, right? Or is that how you say it? Egon? E G O N, right? I think so. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. <laughs> just gonna cut that out. I mean, like, I know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. <laughs> they were all based on, were supposed yeah, to be. Patty, based on right, yeah, Patty. Yeah, so Aaron was characters. supposed to be Peter. Abby was supposed to be Ray. And then you got Jillian and Pat. Obviously, everyone was supposed to be a certain person from the old one. Right. And those supposed to take those characteristics on. Yeah. But that's it just never they happened. Weren't. Yeah. They weren't. They were at the same level. Yeah. Yeah. So back to the actual plot of the movie. <laughs> plot. Uh, so they catch, well, catch the ghost. Uh, the ghost just throws up on them, basically. Did you right. remember a lot of catch slime them. and stuff in the other one? Like them just like projectile vomiting? Or, no. There was no. some, but there wasn't. I don't remember not... as much. I just no. Know, yeah. I feel like the, was, was that? I, oh God, it's been so long. I feel like the only slime incident I remember from the original was with, uh, what's his name? This guy. What's Slimer? Slimer. Slimer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember as much. And like it there wasn't. Of a mouth. No, there was more of ghosts. It wasn't the very beginning of the original one, which was interesting, is that you had the comparison of the mansion and the original one, you had the library. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. instead of meeting um this daughter, you met this library or uh, Lady Grey, I think her name is. Yeah. I think yeah. Uh, that's the first ghost. And she's not, she's more, she comes out aggressive, like after like, oh look, a nice older librarian. And then she gets aggressive, but I don't remember there being like projectile slime, slime and this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was there, a lot of slime. Yeah. Yeah, this one, they, I think they added a lot more yeah. goo and whatnot. Yeah. I think the slime was what? to sell toys. Right, I yeah. was gonna say like, there's so I much don't, stuff in here to sell toys. I guess I didn't mind as much because like, with Ghostbusters 2, there being like ample slime and it being pink. Mm. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah. I did kind of laugh hysterically that they kept covering the women in slime because I'm like, mm. Mm. <laughs> right. Mm. Right. Mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so the ghost comes out of the basement. I could not stand this bit. What? Fucking Kate McKinnon eating Pringles. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Why? I was like, why? it's not necessary why? and it's not even funny. Where did they come from? I, that's a good question. There's no pockets in these. No. There's no pockets. She just pulled There's it from no her pocket. <laughs> you know, she just has to it. <laughs> They're just Oh my god. Them. That would have been really fucking funny pulls. if I thought of that prior and just been like, yes, you mean these? <laughs> 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 Out of the boobs and the freckles. I don't think it would fit in here. This <laughs> is so tight in this area. <laughs> oh, like, I got plenty of room. Yeah, you can. I can put two watermelons in this one. I, yeah. I, 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 the I do this. It just comes out immediately. I keep adjusting like... I want. To, I really want to know if they had pockets in the movie. I want to check that really bad to see. Wait, wait, it's right here. Oh, that's so. Oh yeah, I think it, that it, that does look like a pocket right but there. But they're wait, also like updated uniforms. What about the original? They have pockets. They, they have pockets. Have pockets. They do have pockets. We're being scammed. This is this <laughs> doesn't have pockets. Make clothing with pockets. And you, you would so. think this was supposed to be the empowerment female one. Right. But no pockets in the no costumes. Pockets. Who made this? It's very you. anti feminist. Spe Sorry, Spirit Halloween. I can't talk shit about you. I love you. <laughs> anyway. So she's eating fucking Pringles. I don't know. Like, she is obnoxious this entire fucking time. I'm sorry. The still pockets. eating it during the slime? Do you think that was in the, like, in the meeting initially? Like, yeah, they're like, hey, you know, we got guys, 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 we have to add have pockets because women, women love don't pockets. have pockets. And we we have to add the pockets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I wish they had that meeting more often. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, true. 
Can I just have an actual pocket? And yeah. not the ones that are this big. Not the yeah. fake stitched on ones. Yeah, not the fake. Yeah. Not, also, not the small ones that you can yeah, fit a pack of like, gum in. That are like a freaking quarter. Like, yeah, I that. want real pockets. I think pockets. my conspiracy theory and why there are no women's pockets is because they're trying to sell purses. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, 100%. Well, that's like, actually sorry. what the uh, thing was. It oh. actually, that's actually a true thing. Cool. If you look up the history of why women don't have pockets, it is because of purses. And there's like a whole thing behind women don't have um Pockets. pockets. Just love marketing. Sorry yeah. for the feminism, <laughs> viewers. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> Ghost throws up all over Aaron. She they tries go. to talk to it. And they, uh, who was Eventually filming? Kept, so, I was actually kind of sad again? that that she didn't speak. I was like really into that ghost. <laughs> I also wish that like she had an overall, she wasn't seen again. No. But no. like she like left. Well, I guess because he was oh, yeah. trapping them. I guess that's what. Does that she was show? About? You would you would in think that you would scene? see her at the oh, end. Did anyone something. see her in the battle scene? No, no. I didn't see her. No. I don't know. I fast forward that. Scene. I, I was actually watching because oh, I was you like, watched hmm, that scene. I'm I glad to see. We... Yeah, I wanted to see if there was any like other cameos. Yeah, no. yeah. But there was nothing. No. Okay, I'm glad you saw that scene. I think we each maybe saw the entire movie. Within but like, remember like, different parts of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the beginning half, and then I. <laughs> so, so I'm glad you saw that. She never comes back. Fuck that shit. Who was filming the video outside? So, I, I don't remember. That no, was Aaron. They came uh, in. No, no, Aaron. I'm sorry, Aaron Abby. Was, Abby. Okay. Abby. Abby. Aaron, was, Aaron was just like, we saw a ghost. Right. We saw a ghost. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. I believe in ghosts because I just saw one for free. And, and then she's pulled into yeah, the office Abby. to be like, and, uh, you're fired. Holtzman was in the background uh, doing yeah. this thing and saying unintelligible words. She's just so That quirky bothered me a lot. Relatable. <laughs> I kept, yeah, I like, rewound that scene maybe five times just to see Why what did you she want to hurt saying. yourself like that? I needed to know if she was saying actual words. And I don't think she was. <laughs> I think towards, it was all ad lib. Yeah, towards the end, I actually just put on closed caption because I didn't want to hear it anymore. I'm not lying. I literally turned on closed caption because I was like, this is hurting. This hurts. <laughs> So they, oh, they these movies make me really. They fire twitch. her. <laughs> they, they yeah, she's they fired. fire her. They <laughs> she's fire totally her. fired. She tells them there's cats in the walls and she's not being fired. <laughs> yeah, she's like walking out. She's like, yeah, that I enjoyed. You're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was fun. fun. That was that cute. was cute. Yeah. I'd probably I handle it the hated, same way. I hated the hallway scene when she's going down carrying her boxes. You just like, like she, no, 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 no. It was just like okay, why. No one is asking you That's why. true. Why no one is asking you. You're just giving out information. Like, you could oh, just yeah. be carrying your belongings. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh yeah, I'm totally not getting fired at all. I just carry a houseplant in my box because <laughs> I like to. And it's like, you don't need to explain anything. You can just Except for that one Paul chick, or whatever his name was, uh, the boyfriend who, I agree, he sh uh, she should not be dating at all. And I'm glad they're not dating anymore because he's a piece of shit. And he didn't even talk to her when he got uh, when she that got fired. That was a boyfriend. Yeah, at the beginning of the movie, uh, Aaron is dating this other like professor, uh, professor or whatever. Was this a deleted scene? Holy, sh I don't know. I Maybe don't I got the extended this was, version. Did I get this the was not version? in the version that I watched. Really? I must have watched. <laughs> did this the happen? When did that come in? She had a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, she had a boyfriend I think in the extended she, version. Oh, it was a classic oh, okay, when she okay, watched okay. this. Yeah, <laughs> and it, like in the hallway, she tries to talk to him, and he turns around and like doesn't talk to him. Uh, also, on a side note. Apparently, the the end credit scene in the original movie where they're like all the militaries dancing is just left in the extended cut too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Fun fact. Sure. I would like to say what? that I'm going to watch the extended cut to experience that, but I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't. You don't. No. I think I don't know. It was my copy was two hours and two minutes long. I don't know how long your guys. Oh, copy was. it was God, an hour no. and fifty six. Oh no. Yeah. So it was an hour and 15 And I remember I getting it. to an hour down. and 10 minutes and being like, why? This, this movie was way too long. I just the movie was way too long. When you were talking about that scene, we're all looking like, what? <laughs> <laughs> she watched oh, a different so movie, she guys. Had a boyfriend. <laughs> she had a boyfriend. Men actually watched the original and she had no also idea. argues with the boyfriend. I don't know if that's in the. No. no she like, what is this? So, There's no really? boyfriend. No. Oh my God. Oh no! Wow! Like, like right. No, but this is good because this shows that like we watched more. <laughs> like, so maybe your character well, just has more watched more. Yeah, yeah, I guess. This is the only one that watched it. Like right as she's like about to enter the like the hearst to leave on 
catching a ghost for the first time. Yeah. Uh, she catches Paul, like the boyfriend, and they're like talking. And it's like, why the like, why were you? Uh, why did you just not talk to me and whatnot? And they eventually break up. So it's, it's not really important. I that have a exists. genuine question. What? <laughs> you remember the shitty boyfriend? Yes. But you don't remember Bill Murray? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, I don't That's a know. Valid question. My, uh, I have a selective <laughs> memory when it comes to bad things. Okay. Uh, I remember bad things more than I remember good things. I mean, fair. If yeah. it leaves, it leaves a, enough of an impression. Yeah. Also, that must have just like stood out because overall, this movie's really bad. <laughs> so like, I don't think I would remember like... that. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. So she had a boyfriend. Who anyway, because like <laughs> I like the facts. I was thinking, I was like, I like the fact that there's no romance in this because the original has the romance. Yeah, with Bill Murray and Sigourney Weaver. They should have left that in. The the. Uh, I don't mind wait. when there's not romances. That's why also why I like the movie Frozen is specifically because it's not oh falling in love with a prince. I yeah. like when it's it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't always have to be about like. Love or romance. I agree. I also I mean, hate and they love could have and still romance. Been broken up, but I feel like I would have cared more if uh, if there was character development. Uh, th no, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, if he was the one that got possessed instead of stupid ass Kevin. Was Sigourney yeah. Weaver in? That would have made more was. sense. She was at the end. You probably didn't make it that far, bro. I don't. It was during the credits. Oh, yeah, I did not make it. And I, then there was a scene after the credits. I turned it off once yeah. it ended. Yeah, yeah. Who My version that? didn't have a post credit scene, so I don't know what you're talking about. Because they put it all in the movie. Yeah, I apparently. guess so. I didn't know that there was stuff after the credits, and I really didn't want to continue <laughs> to watch. I was like, oh, it's over, quick. Good Bye. choice. <laughs> you didn't miss I was dragging through seeing what's happening, and I was like, if I just drag the mouse across this, like the bar at the bottom, I can watch the I whole could, movie. I did that too at one point. Oh I feel bad. God. Don't, don't feel bad. Don't movie. feel bad. It's your life. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get those so, minutes back. Um, how much did you enjoy the scene after? After they realize, oh yes, ghosts are definitely real. We can get them on video and capture them. We're not even them fucking blah, blah, blah. halfway through yet. So yeah, that I, wait, wait, I did too. actually, because it felt authentic uh, with her, you know, being they are real, like in the camera. I, I it did enjoy that. Did you also enjoy how they were looking for a place to set up base, and they were like, oh yes, the firehouse, and. This is probably the only line that I actually laughed at. Ooh, we, missed I wait, exactly wait, wait, we missed it. Wait, wait, wait. We missed it. We missed. We missed. Everyone getting fired. So, oh, yeah. the other Abby, she because they wanted to start their thing and they wanted to go upstairs and talk to the the principal, whoever the fuck, the dean of whatever school it was, right? And he laughed in their face, and he which told was them, such fuck off. oh yeah, yeah. And what was he doing like that? Like middle oh point? yeah, yeah middle I was like, this is yeah, he, he was on the went on way too long. <laughs> right, Ooh. I was like, that scene went on way too long, and that should not be in there. And uh, it definitely also gave the movie talking like women empowerment and stuff. And these women are established scientists. Why the fuck are you letting your boss talk to you like that? Mm -hmm. Like that? You can have his job. Yeah, the last one got arrested. Yeah. I'm sure you can have this one's job. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and the like same thing what? with the other boss, the other university and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you can't just get fired for that kind of stuff. Right, you actually can't get fired for that. It was silly. Yeah, it was like silly. oh no, I went viral on a meme thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. there's the nothing only one that got fired for a good reason was Leslie. Her character. Did she actually Abby. get fired? Or did she just leave? I'm I not think she sure. just left. I don't think she got fired. I think she just never showed back up. Ah, uh, yeah. She well, she could have been fired because you're bringing these. <laughs> unqualified people onto oh, yeah tracks, onto the tracks where I'm sure there's cameras yeah like, okay yeah. also that's not your job you work in the uh, yeah the, the MTA kiosk. right the kiosk. Yeah. yeah we'll get to that part okay so they go to the firehouse and I loved this scene I thought this this was a nice little homage to the original mm -hmm. right because it is I think it was at the actual firehouse yes. yeah 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 Yep. Which I think is was really, really cool. I was actually excited when I saw that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And, and they the go fact in. That they made it realistic when she's like, it actually costs. And I think this is your favorite Yeah, this is my this. Pro, this is probably the funniest joke. Well, no, yeah, yeah. this is the funniest joke <laughs> in the thing. movie, yeah. And she says the amount and she's like, oh, you can go it? to hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even the woman's response, like she said it so quick and she's like, Oh my god. The rent is twenty one thousand a month. Burn in hell. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I very I really enjoy that. 
twenty one. What was it? Twenty one thousand a month. Yeah, twenty one thousand. Yeah, twenty one thousand a month. And she was like, "Yeah, we do. Like, pa- not even like change the world. You're doing yeah. paranormal. Yeah, but uh, something we can afford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like they didn't give her a budget, like she said. So. I mean, I don't even know how they're getting their money. How? True. Do they even have money in the beginning? Like, I'm sure Aaron would have. How do you hire a a real estate agent without giving them your budget? Yeah. You can't say that. Yeah, she was a real estate agent. Okay. Yeah, she didn't know them. Mm -hmm. Or if I did, if she she did know them, she shouldn't. (laughs) But they're like, okay, well, how about above a Chinese? Like, that's totally drastically Not even the Chinese, like a Chinese place, but it's the the Chinese place. What is that, Benny or whatever his name is that works? With the one one wonton, and then she gets the one shrimp with the, what she hopes is a water chestnut. Great shit joke. I love that one. (laughs) (laughs) Vince over there cracking all that. That's awesome. That is gold. I just, I hate this so much. (sighs) Bad food service is not a joke. <laughs> All right. So they finally get... No, it's not. Um, they get up to the the Chinese. How They set yeah, the up new base. their new base. And in walks my least favorite character. He comes in for his interview. When he's the only one that applied. And Kristen Wiig's character, Aaron, says, Immediately starts... You're hired. And it's like, oh, cool. You're hiring him because he's attractive. Yeah. Like the things that they were asking during his interview were so inappropriate. I was dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They even mentioned like, oh, this could get us sued and then asked again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (sighs) It was dumb. And then also he was just like forcefully dumb. Yeah. Who, no one, I mean, it was like interesting. Like my cat. The only time I thought it was funny was when he, they were like, don't listen. And he went like, I was like, oh, that's actually a joke. So that's actually a reference to the original where they say, um, listen, do you smell that? That's the uh, the reference, I think, that they're trying. Because they yeah. do that a couple of times in the original. So yeah, I think yeah. that was more of like an homage type of thing to okay, that. And I okay. like it. I like that. Okay. And that's always, that's cute, funny. Yeah, that one I enjoyed. There's little things where I'm like, he kind of made me giggle here and there. Yeah, yeah. But not when they're involved. No. When they were yeah. involved, I didn't like the jokes. When he did it on his own, I thought it was kind of funny of just like an idiot guy, yeah. like just doing something stupid. Yeah, yeah. But the whole, the my cat, but it's Michael. That was dumb. Michael cat. Your, your dog's name is my cat? And my cat. That went on for a little too long. It way too long. I was long. like, okay. Also like, the, it wasn't, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. It wasn't so funny. So I don't And then, and like then uh, Melissa McCarthy's answer to that was, well, I guess I can't say I'm allergic to dogs. And yeah. then he's like, well, Good thing because my dog, the dog lives uh, with my mom's. Why would like, you bring that up? Right. Uh, why would you bring it up if you can't have the cat here or the dog, whatever? And also, <laughs> here. why does their uh, get it. He's secretary dumb. need to live there? Because he's like, oh, okay, well, I'll go get my stuff. Because he's an idiot. <laughs> it's 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 really forcing the idiot role. Yeah. Even though the in the original though, she's not an idiot. I don't know why they had to make. She's just no. kind of like you know we why? don't get many because it's. From her, but- Let's let's compare females and the idiot males. And so is what you're saying actually then is the op- I'm gonna get angry. Yep. The opposite of you think women are that dumb, you have to have someone forcefully dumb to counteract that. Yeah. You don't think you can balance that out and now you're creating a complete that's not oh, I mean that's the that's shitty good. side of uh Feminism, right? Not equality. It's I just want to be doing as many toxic things as men can do. For it's real. Even, it is. It's instead of equality, it's like women are better than men. Women yeah. are better than men. And it's like, no, how about I live my life without having to get judged for being? I just, yes, okay. I already, I told you this story. I didn't know we haven't gone on too many side tangents, but I'm gonna go on one. Okay. Yesterday I was working, I, I'm a production manager, I do production. I'm a, I am a boss bitch. Okay. Like, okay. And I know people don't like that term. Girl boss. I'm, but I like it now. I'm just straight. I don't Listen, care. I like boss bitch. Because I know, because it makes me feel a little bit more oomph. Yeah. I like the oomph. Yeah. So much. I'm completely different when I'm at work. I am, I do my thing. And I'm usually the only female there. Mm. And the only female in charge. Mm. I'm running this huge event, this huge live event. Very political, very important. Okay. There's press there. I'm taking pictures of my setups because I do I doing photo archives mm-hmm. because I can write as much down, but photos show a little bit more. Right. So I do a lot of documentation so I know what's happening. 
I was taking a photo, putting my arm above one, of the, there's a lot of press there. I was putting my arm, I was staying out of their way above one of the press's heads, one of the reporters, and he turns to me and goes, if you were wearing heels, that wouldn't be a problem. And I was like, <laughs> it, my feet probably would, and I was trying, cause I saw my CEO not far, and I was like, and all I could think of that was appropriate to say besides, if I had heels on right now, it would be up your ass. <laughs> but I was like, if I, my feet wouldn't hurt as much if I wasn't running this entire event, production manage this entire event myself. Right, I'm the reason you're in this venue. Right you now. are literally here because I put this together. Like right. I produ everything here, I could have made this a lot worse. I actually accommodated the room for the press. I mo made the room actually bigger so it's easier for the press. I put out a press box for you guys. I didn't need to put out a press box. That wasn't required of me. But I was like, let me make as many accommodations for the press to make it as e like, and I'm literally running five different rooms, including the main event, mm. overseeing everything. And he has the ball. And he was wearing a fucking cowboy hat too, by the way. <laughs> oh God. And turns he to haul me, your ass out of here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and just, but the thing is. You've yeed your last <laughs> <ball>. <laughs> Yes. And this is what I deal with. And that's like nothing compared to what I deal with on a daily basis, where yeah. most of the time I have guys and these are live events, live shows where people are always on these trucks and they pull up these tours, these old tour guys, and I'm the only female there. Yeah. And they turn, are you my catering girl? No, I'm your fucking production manager, oh. asshole. Let's go. Oh. Like, it happens to me all the time. Yeah. All the fucking time. Yeah. And so I always have to be careful what I wear, how I dress, how I'm perceived. But my male production managers, there's no other female production manager. They can do whatever the hell they want. They literally wear anything they want. They yeah. never have to think about it. And I'm always like, okay, I'm doing a hip hop show today. I'm doing a corporate event here and I have to do this and this. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, this is exhausting just thinking how I have to present myself instead of just doing my job. Right. What I want as a woman is to be able to do my job without that extra stress. That's all I fucking want. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be judged because I have a fucking vagina. And my boss's response literally is, last uh, Tuesday I did another event and I told him, hey, this producer of this event, and it's a huge network TV, mm -hmm. yelled at me. And there was no reason to yell at me because I was going by our union rules and I was letting him know and I was so patient, mm -hmm. so patient with him. I was like, okay, you, you're having a bad day. You're having a stressful day. You're venting on me. Inappropriate, but it's not gonna bother me. Right. It's fine. Like you really have to learn patience. And you're just like, okay, all right. That was it again. And I told my boss like, hey, just to let you know, he's really angry at me because he's he doesn't want to accept the rules that we actually already went through. We already uh, agreed on. He goes, yeah, well, and I was like, and he also, he's fine with the producer, our producer, mm -hmm. says there's nothing wrong, you know, oh yeah, man, no problem, man. Oh. Our, my producer's a male. Mm -hmm. No problem, man, no problem, man. Yeah, we're just going with the flow. We're all good, we're all good, but yells at me. And, but she said, she said, she said, I told my boss this. That's not cool. He goes, well, sorry, you have a vagina. This is what you have to deal with every yeah, day. Yeah, nah. <laughs> and I was like, oh man. My boss says this, I was like, this is literally like, there's nothing I can do. And I kind of get his point of, well, and the guy did come up to me at the end of the day and said, hey, thank you so much for your patience. I seriously was an asshole. Yeah, I, at least he recognized He it. did, which was cool, because most of the times they have too much pride to recognize that. Yeah. yeah. He actually did come back in and apologize. And the other guy for the other event, um, the it, wasn't, it wasn't the cowboy, but another person who yelled, I get yelled at a lot. <laughs> it's part of my job. I'm used to it. Like, it's just, you brush it off for all different reasons. People are stressed. You're in a very stressful environment. Very confrontational. You can, very, you can hire me. I'll pretend I don't know you and just beat the <laughs> shit the way, out of anybody like that yells at you. Speaking of having a vagina, I have to pee really bad. Oh yeah, okay. have fun. Be right back. <laughs> are you troubled by the lack of podcasts to listen to at night? Do you experience feelings of dread when toys in your basement or video games in your attic are not being talked about? Do you or your family crave long discussions about movies that involve spooks, specters, and ghosts? Then don't wait another minute to subscribe to one of the many Screenwave Media podcasts today. Every Monday and Thursday, the crew from Hack the Movies get together to talk about old or modern films. Movie hacking makes them feel good. Do you believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, ESP, the Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis? Then the Cinemassacre podcast is the show for you every Tuesday. Pretend for a moment that you don't know anything about G.I. Joes, Transformers, or He-Man toys. And just let Kevin and friends tell you what the hell is going on with toy collecting on their show, Peg Warmers. They have the tools and they have the talent 
Every Friday, check out Mike and Ryan talking about games on their show, Talk About Games. You'll be entertained beyond the capacity for rational thought. YouTube not your thing? That's okay. We ain't afraid of no host. You can download our shows wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, it's a me, Peteroni Pizzarella, just your local pizza delivery guy. I'm here to deliver you ladies a pizza. Oh no, I brought a medium a pizza instead of a large. Mamma mia, I'm a so a silly. Anyway, enjoy this a medium a pizza. Manja, manja, mamma mia. All right, where were we? Oh, we were talking about how it was like counterproductive to feminism. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was, yeah. I'm over that rant, I got pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, okay, so we're going to the firehouse. Off Let's go plot. to Subway. How we, when we meet, um, Leslie Jones's character. Right. Yes. Yeah. So uh, being the token black girl in here for no obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that scene, first of all, it was very jarring because, uh, maybe New York transit is different, but she was very friendly. And I have uh -huh. never experienced that no. about Sutter, from public right? transit. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh my gosh. So that was already, but I didn't mind that. It caught my attention. And then uh, they moved into our, is it antagonist? You know that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's what we call them. Sure, whatever it is. Uh, that tells her, you know, hey, you're a service worker, so you'll be last on the kill list. Don't worry. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I have everybody. that yeah. honor of being last to yeah. be killed right. by ghosts. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm glad you thought of me. <laughs> uh, and then we move into uh, her seeing him go into the tracks and she follows him thinking he's going to take a shit mm -hmm. on the tracks and uh, tells him <laughs> there's a bathroom in the Starbucks upstairs. And that's when we meet our next ghost, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The um, electric chip guy. Uh, I'm cool, dude. Yeah. And then there's also another one of those um, sparkly disc thingies. Oh, yeah. Because there was one the, in the, yeah. There was, there was one, the one in the beginning. In the, yeah, yeah. In the mansion thing underneath the um, table. Oh, see, I saw, I missed it and I did see, I saw that and I just assumed it was some ghosty shit going on. I didn't yeah, realize it, it was clear. that device. Yeah. Okay. Well, exactly. I just saw like the blue sparking. We were talking about like Norm Norman is his name? Is his name Norman? Oh, Norm Ro no, it's Rowan. Rowan. Rowan, Rowan. Rowan. is Rowan. It, it is, is Rowan. Rowan. Rowan and the fourth like catalyst or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This is when they're getting the secretary. Yes. This scene is when they're getting the secretary right. because they're because like, she, oh, yeah. is she also trying to be a secretary? It's like, she's like, no, no, no. I saw a ghost. Yeah. This is the scene where Kevin pops in. So then they go down. Um, this is when they meet some kid on the subway. I was like, oh, did you see a ghost? And this is when they spray paint the logo. The logo. Our logo. Yeah. Right. Because Kevin was all supposed to come up with the logo. And what mm -hmm. was the logo Kevin came up with? Uh, ghosts with titties. Big old titties. Yeah. Should have been <laughs> bigger in my opinion. Honestly, I didn't think it was that different from the actual logo, <laughs> minus the eyelashes and the boobs. <laughs> so when she like, cause, uh, uh, ooh, the blonde, she says, it was <laughs> Kate, McKinnon. Kate McKinnon's character. She's like, Holtzman. am I on? Yeah, Holtzman, thank you. I gotta remember that. Those are Johanna's boobs. Holtzman goes, <laughs> Holtzman goes uh, am I on crack or is that a good logo? And I'm like, I mean, it's the same one that fucking Kevin gave you minus the tits. Mm -hmm. It really reminds so me of So what salad they're telling drawing. me is they're anti-titties <laughs> and cancel <laughs> Ghostbusters 2016. <laughs> they so tried to pass off as feminists, but they are anti-titty. Yeah, they didn't pick the ghost with the titties. I would have picked the ghost with the titties. As a woman, I'm offended that they didn't choose the ghost logo with the titties uh, mm -hmm. because women have titties and you don't know that Ghost's women right. are busting ghosts if they have if there is no titties on the logo, obviously. And he offered to make them bigger. <laughs> so like they weren't even willing to compromise. Wow, I, wow. Yeah. Disrespectful. <laughs> Just disgusting. They're busting through their uniforms. Yeah. 
Like we are. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a potato sack. <laughs> no, I mean, my boobs are too big falling apart. Like I'm no. just, gonna, I go like this and it starts unzippering. Like, I wish I go there and it's not even there. It's not even touching it when I go like that. Oh. It's like barely touching. R.I.P. Daft Punk, zip unzip it. Where's my hand? Oh. <laughs> so they go back. Um, on the news is our um, second cameo. Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. Oh, right, uh, to say that they're a bunch of croc, which yep. they are, to be fair. <laughs> they Wait, really the are. News he was the newscaster? Mm -hmm. No, they were interviewing him. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm he sorry, right like, before this, they did catch, they ended up, they go on the tracks and they caught the ghost. No, right. they, well, they it got away. They tried, yeah. They tried to get that powerful one. enough. Because uh, that ghost, that's, that's right, when that's we got right. our You are right, you are right, because sliding. it was when they are in the concerts, their first ghost. Yeah. Yeah. You know what sucks? A lot of the things that they're talking about, they're like, they're talking about the mansion and the history there, and then also the history of what happened above the subway, which but is that prison. And so, it's on just the... like, can can we get more of the like? That's I I like, I like that stuff. I like the lore. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. actually like you like story. I love <laughs> yes yes exactly. I like Patty's character. I think Patty's character had more than Winston did. I mm -hmm. think Patty is more of a character. Or at least was given the chance to be more of a character than Winston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he she has a lot more to say. She's actually very, very, very intelligent. She has this personality that's actually very relatable. And beside comedy, oh, like take out the comedy aspect of her, the comedy is her being Leslie Jones. But I think her being very smart and being like a, a human being. Yeah. Kind of felt stronger than the other three. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I the other three were literally one character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you took out her forceful comedy, mm. I mean, if you took out all of it, like literally, you could take out the comedy by like seventy five percent, it would be better. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. Without it being forced, but I really think she was the only one that came off one. as a person to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Like an actual person and not yeah. just. And a... I love the fact that she knew the history of these buildings. Oh yeah, that was she's the one that knew. And later on, she knew the history of the hotel. Yeah. yeah. Like, she's the one that knew this shit. She goes, oh, this restaurant, and this, and this, and this. And I was like, this is, shit is awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah. bring that more of that to the character. Right. And I know a lot of people said how they hated her character because it was like stereotypic black woman. How she was my they. favorite character out of the four. I was going to say, and like, she yeah. least hated. Yeah. Least yeah. hated, I would go with. I didn't yeah. like her character. I don't. I don't I like still was a non That's why I, I don't like, like love hate because I did enjoy certain aspects of her. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then certain moments I'm like, okay, is this all they're gonna make you out to be? Yeah, yeah. we were talking about it earlier when we were yeah. just talking about just Leslie Jones in general right. about like the uh, one scene with the mannequins that we're gonna get into eventually. Loved. That. I would 100% act really that way too. I'd be like, that mm, creepy room. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I love when she's like. Uh, were you there before? Okay, don't answer that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she starts, it starts coming at her and yeah. she's like, I said, don't answer that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. I like that part. Mm -hmm. There were parts of, oh, speaking of this. Okay, so we're getting to that anyway, to yeah. when they go to the venue all together. Up until that point, all of the ghosts had been human, right? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, and we had got little backstories on it. Then we just get this gargoyle. I loved it. So, I love the design of I this ghost. I didn't dislike it. Like I thought he looked really cool, or it. But I, we didn't get any. Yeah, there was some type of it. like haunting thing. So like you know the women who, or the woman who um, murdered all the uh, servants and everything in right. the mansion. And then the guy had get, gotten the electric yeah. chair because it used to be a prison. Yeah. There. And, and no story on the gargoyle. I also feel like after that, like nobody really had a story. No. Mm -mm. No. Why was it like not anywhere? Like, also, like posted anywhere like on social media or like the news or whatnot that oh we just caught this uh dragon at this concert like even like you got people taking selfies with the damn thing and it's just like oh, oh it's because you know, they were shown as a fake because that totally well, is how that works right. i don't think that was social part of the media show. Is, yeah i thought it wouldn't work, work that way no but wait let's go back to all right so bill murray yeah. Bill Murray, they're we talking. keep skipping. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, he's trying to discredit them. He's like, yes, oh, we gotta it's hurry real. up because I want more pizza. Like, <laughs> the movie sucks, but the pizza's good. Yes. So he says it's not real. <laughs> and, we're just pouring more. Apple. And they, uh, yeah, they shouldn't uh, believe it. Yeah. And uh, it's not they real, get really, it. really upset about that. And then that's when they get their very first call, and that's when you see the outfits and the car show up. Yeah. Oh yeah, the hearse. The hearse pops up. Yeah. That Patty may not have a body inside. I liked this. I liked the hearse seven ambulance. 
Yeah, it I looks agree. More. I like it. Looks, yeah, I like the too. idea of it. I like. Mm-hmm. I also like curses. Like I think Me they're cool. Me too. <laughs> so I thought that was cool. I wasn't sure. But I mean, the outfits. There's nothing wrong with the outfits except these shit Halloween costume yeah. outfits. <laughs> Their outfits. I didn't. They have hate. pockets. Yeah, they had pockets. We don't. Yeah. Fucking pockets. But yeah, I was there's looking nothing longingly I don't... at the photo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's nothing I don't also, like they about have reflective their... bands, do. Do. Like We don't. It's just a gray stripe. Yeah. We would get hit. <laughs> be so dead. <laughs> we would be so dead. I, I'm not dying in this shit. I'm not <laughs> oh, dying God. in this potato sack. Right. Oh, All my right. God. So, their ambulance, or I'm sorry, they're, um, <laughs> with the, <laughs> they're the original the ambulance. Uh, our new one is the hearse. I like that. I like, but they don't, they don't vamp it up. Is this when they vamped it up? No, no I think they, they didn't it vamp it up yet. Okay, scene, yeah. so they didn't vamp it up yet, but they come out in the outfits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're ready to go bust their first one. They go mm-hmm. to the concert, which is the Aussie Fest. They have yeah. all that gear. Yeah, like they didn't even prep yet enough. Everything's just happening so fast, and you're like, but that was something that annoyed me too. Whatever, because I, I said this before. Um, I don't know if I actually I said it here, but I would have liked it if the um, one of the girls at least had one of the main characters from the previous movies as like an uncle or a grandfather or something. Yeah. I think, yeah. does it, so it would, at the end? It's not him though. It's just a cameo. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So like it would make sense how they have all this gear and how they know how to make it. Right. Mm-hmm. Because they've apparently never encountered a ghost or saw ghost. before. Yeah. But somehow they all the to gear. try explain it out is like, it, it's the, in her book and that's how the one guy knew how to build all that stuff. But like, okay. But you never, they never did. Yeah, so, he and there's was nothing still, to test it. Yeah. She, how is she writing this book and he's going off of it and actually doing a whole bunch of work, but yet she's never seen a ghost before? Yeah. Ever. After all this work that Rowan has done in this book, and for people that were, have been so obsessed, right. I get it. He has this knack that no one else has. He has this passion, and this is literally his life. But I thought it was their two life as well. Clearly, if someone who's in this basement, mm. McCarthy's fucking character, you would think she would come up with something yeah. at this point. Yeah. And the genius of Kate McKinnon character, she would be a genius to figure this shit out. She's able to create all, create all this fucking no, equipment. It's, in the end, it still takes a guy to bring her dream to yeah, reality. Yeah, it still takes a guy <laughs> to make this happen. Feminism. What the fu- <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it is. It's stupid. Yeah. This movie's stupid. So... <laughs> They show up at the concert. Um, Michael McDonald shows up. Yep. Yeah, my guy. And yeah, I was like, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. right. And they're going to the concert, and they're like, all right, this is his thing. And they show him Norman's. Is it? No, not that's not that's later. See, all of it feels the same. Every venue they go to yeah. feels right? the same. It's like the same. I'm like, thing. wait a minute. The concert and the hotel literally feel like the same. The place. backstage, yeah, it feels yeah. like everything feels like the same place. Nothing feels different. It all has that Literally same. Literally the only thing that was like different was the mansion and the subway. Yeah, and the mansion was nice. I, like I wish mansion. it like stayed there more. Me too. Like, like that could have been more investigating. More. And and that was probably the most there. expensive place to film, which is why there's not that much of it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they want to spend money oh, on cameos. Fun fact, yeah. the owner of that, of that actual mansion is uh, Lizzie Borden's third cousin. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Someone's spitting facts over here. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, so they're at the concert. Oh, this is when the mannequin scene happens. Yeah, I like the mannequin scene. All right. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I, 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 I did write that. I said mannequin be a little more sinister and to have gone a little longer. Yes, yeah. it's just so quick from like it following her to her like joining the gang and let's fight it. Like I wish when she yeah. closed the door, that it didn't automatically start kicking it in. Yeah. yeah, I wish there was like a pause for a little bit where she could be like, yeah, this mannequin's chasing me, and then. Being them like, being like, what huh? are you talking yeah. about? A mannequin? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. it's just a mannequin. They could have then... made that a lot more creepy. I think. Yeah. They could have. I actually wrote down the mannequin uh, is kind of cool. Yeah. But yeah. I don't really remember it that well. But in the moment, though. I thought it was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, the gargoyle. What? That what just, is it? So did someone dry, I put die dragon. I put and dragon. decide to be a gargoyle in death? Because, like, at one point in the movie, they mention there is, when they're mapping things out for the ley lines, that there was a polar bear ghost. So, okay, that's fine. Animals have ghosts in this film. Mm-hmm. Cool. What is the gargoyle about? Is it a monster? Did someone decide to take that form in death? Yeah, I was or, or are there actual monsters out there? Yeah, I'm like, confused about Ghost that. monsters. Yeah. yeah. Is that what monsters? it's supposed to be? Because it doesn't establish anything because there's yeah. stories There's no rules else. in this shit. 
Yeah, but so I mentioned this is doesn't stupid. matter. <laughs> it looks cool, and them capturing them, and then I think it I'll, I'll go with the, the act thing. aspect yeah. of that it. That I enjoyed cool. as well. Yeah. That, it I looks cool. It's like... at a concert. It looks like it's a theatrical aspect of yeah. a concert. I was like, okay, I, yeah. Yeah. I did I enjoy on Leslie's show. Yeah, I was gonna say I enjoyed that like, scene. Yeah. And she's like, like, I'm just gonna pretend that nothing's happening. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah. Don't no, don't don't. She's like, hey, hey, it's and she's like. No. But I also felt that it ended up dragging a little too long. It did. Yes, this is what I was saying. The comedic pacing just isn't there. Like, these are professional comedians. They should feel, okay, it's going on too long. Yeah. Um, the scene when they were crowd surfing was interesting. Why didn't they catch Leslie? And she was like, I don't know if this is a racism thing or, or not. a woman. Like, what was it's a just woman like, thing? yeah, how could it be a woman thing? If, yeah, she's yeah. Like, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So, she's like, like, like it's a woman thing or yeah. racism thing. And I was like, oh. I don't think it's either. Yeah. <laughs> I think they just didn't want to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. So they caught it. They come back. And that's when all of a sudden. Oh, they're also they go back to the office and they start dancing, which was a really weird scene. Oh, my God. Like she it. was dancing up on Kevin and he was not here for it. And it bothered me. I did like that because I was like, there's a lot of harassment. sexual harassment. That is definitely yeah. workplace yeah. sexual yeah. harassment. Yeah. Oh, this is the opposite of what we want. Right. And it'd be different if they had made him like be playful with her, but like he clearly no. was not involved. He's like, yeah, he just started walking keeps, like, away. Touching. Yeah. It's like, stop it. We're Leave not trying to yeah. be that. No. We're trying to uh, get away from like, that. Yeah. On both just, sides. Like, let's not do let's it. Let's not, yeah, neither. Like, because I know that happens. Girls do sexually harass guys and they don't like it either. Like, how about we just not? Have it instead yeah. of like, trying to don't be touch this should not be like, empowering yes. for you. Yeah, it was weird. No, I didn't like don't, that. Don't, no, no. Yeah, it was yucky. Yeah, stop it. So I'm fine skipping through some things and just talking about the important stuff now because like I'm kind of just tired of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so we want right. to talk about. We're almost. I had like we're 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 getting towards like we got to talk about the Murray scene when he pops up, which is next. Okay, so. Gotta talk about that part. The Bill Murray scene. She entirely murdered that man. She murdered him. She you did. You do not, if you, if I'm egging on someone at a zoo, well, that tiger's not gonna do shit. They don't open the door. Yeah. Like, hey, let me prove it. <laughs> you murdered him. <laughs> and you should be held accountable. The ghost didn't you do it. You opened up this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, she opened up and the she case. Told her and the not, she told her not because she did it for she was like, Let's wait until we have a controlled environment. And she, yeah. she's just like, oh no, it's uh, I'm opening this up for a man. Yeah. Hashtag feminism. Right. And right, then right. releases him into the world. <laughs> and again. it literally, like, great. it just kills him because you have to prove yourself to a guy. Like, no. Was he the only person that not... died via ghost? I think so. Unless people were in buildings. Yeah, yeah, that we didn't know about. Yeah. But they picked him up and just immediately dropped him out that window. Yeah, he just died. Our dragon. I guy. think Bill Murray's like, this movie is stupid. Can you kill me off now? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's but what he was like. Mm -mm. He seemed more enthusiastic for this than he did for Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. He seemed, uh, at least as far as his acting went, I was like, oh, he seems a little more. I yeah. was actually shocked at how yeah. <laughs> enthusiastic he was in yeah, he this. Really I was actually good. very shocked. <laughs> For his small role. Yeah. And then the mayor invites them and says, hey, we got to tell you guys that everything is fake and yeah. it's not real. It's not to cause chaos. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that in the original, uh, they were, the Ghostbusters were celebrated as heroes and like superstars. Right. But in this is the exact opposite. So yeah. I actually did like that. I yeah. like the contrast of, hey, we're not going to do the same exact as the original, but we're going to go ahead and do a contrast of- Which is also more realistic. It yeah. is. Yes. Yeah. Because if people knew that there were go, I mean, look at right now, all of a sudden the government's like, yeah, aliens are real. Yeah. And you did it at the perfect timing when there's a fucking pandemic and everyone's already fucking panicking. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. right. let's, they, everyone, they fucking pick and choose their battles. Yeah. If this is a real thing, no one's gonna be like, yeah, Ghostbusters, we got real superheroes. I can't wait until we're invaded. Right? I'm over this. I'm over this like I'm over this damn movie. Yeah. I'd do an alien. Clap those cheeks. They can clap my cheeks. All the, Whatever all they the have cheeks, there. Like, the pro. All the cheeks yeah, will be clapped. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the meme multiple times. We know times, what Johanna's fetish is. Space drop, I 100 Have you not seen my Garrus? Collection from Mass Effect. I will do an alien. Oh, right, I, right. If he's real, I'd be like, buy in. <laughs> is this a subletter of furryism? Oh, Tell me, no. I'd be a scaly. Okay, that's a, you're assuming aliens have skin, uh, scales. Well, it would be a slimy yeah, be species. It could be. Well, yeah, see, don't be species. Garrus from Mass Effect technically is just like a Velociraptor yeah. bird thing. So, mm. so you do a. So would you? Do he, has, a like, he even has like the little clicky thing. Would you do a Velociraptor? 
That one raptor from that Jurassic was... Park 3 was really hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clever girl. Uh, <laughs> she wants to get the clever girl. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, though. The way like she walked up before she picked up the I eggs. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. she's a velociraptor. Tell me I'm wrong. I dig it. <laughs> Everyone's already gone at this yeah, point. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> watching it. Like, 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 it's so sad. I was like, not. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but we're gone. And they said the word like about a gazillion times. I can't handle it. I this. heard feminism. I heard feminism. Uh, they keep saying like, like and like and like. Yeah. <laughs> Salads in this, I'm gone. <laughs> Actually, uh, how did you guys feel about the uh, new design of the Ghostbuster mobile? And how fast it happened for some reason. Yeah, I, I liked that. it. I, yeah. I mean, not how quickly. I would have liked a little. That would have been a nice little montage. Yeah, creating it. Yeah. And like, hey, this is a real thing. Let's they have a little montage of how we're getting everything together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, actually creating arch, weapons right. too. The arch. Right. Oh my god. Everything. So I happen. loved the new weapons, but they just came to be. There was like no. It was all just plot convenience yeah. the entire time. I mean, we saw movie. her tinkering yeah. every now and then, but like never with a specific device or anything. If like, okay, it's the it's the blonde girl that's making all these devices. Yeah. She's just kind of creating them out of thin air. Mm -hmm. If she's creating them out of thin air like this, why is she not employed by the government? Right? Yeah, exactly. She could be like making military weapons and like, other weapons. They could be like, but oh, no, she's she, she, that one thing that she makes us, eventually, yeah. whatever, where you literally just punch the air and yeah. it's just shooting stuff. Like, yeah, the U.S. military would be like, yeah, it's like, give me that. that now. Here's <laughs> seventy just million dollars. Like, yeah, just have this. Yeah. How are they getting their money for making this equipment? So I'm pretty sure because it showed a giant pile of collecting things at one point when Melissa so McCarthy's she character out gets of possessed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's just making it out of scraps because okay. she had like that. It was like a. Um, so what the hell is that thing? It was like a crowbar thingy mm -hmm. or oh, like a pipe. I think they, the they stole from the school. I know they had the stuff that stole from the school, but at this point, a lot of that other technology would cost money. Yeah, yeah. So are these people also also to operate them? it? Like, where are they getting the battery power for this? All of it. All I have so many questions. But are these people paying them each time? They've had like two calls so far. How much is each call? I mean, this could be like an original Ghostbuster question too. Also, but... why did they? I, like, okay, whatever. They wanted to have the guy secretary. But they whatever, were getting but... paid, right? Because they, they had. We also saw do. like the upgrades in their in their office and yeah. stuff. So they were definitely getting paid. They only had a secretary, just to counter out the original. Yeah. That's the only. They, they did totally could have picked it. up the phone they by themselves. They did not need it. The mm. only reason they had a male secretary was they could have picked up the phone by themselves. Yeah. yeah. There was, they were not oh that God. busy. They said they didn't want to, oh, uh, now I'm dumb. mad again. But yeah, they could, they he said still could have picked up the phone. They didn't want to carry the heavy luggage, <sighs> which he didn't do anyway. <laughs> they, so they, they figure become, out the ley lines on yeah. the map. They go like, so oh, that conveniently oh. matched up with the map in the book, but people apparently were saying it didn't matter before, even though apparently, uh, was it Abby and Erin were um, studying it before, but they were like, Oh, it has no merit, but then somehow it totally has merit with yeah. their magic. <laughs> so they go to the I hotel <laughs> and they find uh, Mr. Creepshow. He has yep. five, I counted, he's got five degrees. This guy's smart. What? What is he doing? He's like a janitor Working at a Working as a hotel. janitor at yeah. a hotel. No, oh, he not missed bumping. the cameo again with the secretary. Oh, she was the original the, she was there. I yeah. mean, the, not the bell. Annie Potts. She was at the front desk. Yeah. Annie Potts was at the yep. front. Yeah, yeah. I liked her cameo because it worked so well. It did. I really did like that. Yeah. I didn't like most of the cameos. Yeah. I felt like for, there were fours, but her cameo, like, And it she got to put sense. her own personality in there. Yeah. I yeah. She's that. like, oh, you're here for that guy? Go get him. Whatever. Yeah, I don't yeah, care. Yeah. Do what you got to do. <laughs> Take him out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did not like the basement. Uh, it looked like um, a haunted house with the like screens with the hands. How does this hotel not know that's what's happening that down there? Too. Also that electricity bill. Oh, because they wouldn't right. notice that? Right. Cause he's a, he's a janitor. So like the maintenance guy hasn't been like, hey, excuse me, what is this? Why is there only one maintenance guy or like janitor for, for the, like, whole, the whole hotel? hotel? Also like, why is he a janitor? There's nothing, I've worked in the hospitality industry. Nothing wrong Same. with that. But he has five degrees. You're way overqualified for this. I don't care if you're batshit crazy. You can find something. How? Yeah. Look at the other batshit crazy women that are the Ghostbusters. They, yes. They've got great jobs. Or they well, were. They had, had great jobs. Yeah. 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 So you. 
It's frustrating. This movie is frustrating. This movie's stupid. Again, you guys working front desk or something. Yeah, we've had a like literally stopped and paused to be like, this movie sucks. Like at least like twenty times. I'm not even kidding. So they're like, well, the cops are already on their way, Rowan, and you're already screwed. Kills himself, right? Yeah, uh, he, yeah, he goes. He he unalives himself. himself. Yeah. Yeah. Unalives himself. He unalives yeah. himself. himself. I like that. <laughs> and then the mayor and all of them are happy. I do like the fact that she goes. Well, just let you know, the you know mayor sends his regard mm-hmm. or uh, congratulate whatever she says, but privately, obviously, and then we have to. And I do like that they're playing on that. That it has to look fake. Yeah, yeah. It's such a different part than the original. Fake arrest, they go back to the thing, and then we get the, one of the stupidest scenes, I think, in this on one of this entire movie, and I couldn't stand it, when Melissa McCarthy gets possessed. Yeah. Hell no, the devil is a liar! Boo. How, how is she not dead when she turns her head? Because... <laughs> She was possessed, yeah, but she was still herself. Well, if we bring that into question, then we have to bring the exorcist into question because they did a lot with that kid. Like demonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like, (laughs) yeah, I don't know. But like, what in her neck? But she does say because in the exorcist, like she's sore and everything. She's not feeling great. Like in the exorcist, she feels like shit. Yeah, it is affecting her. It affects her. Her body's bruised. It hurts. Yeah. Melissa McCarthy, if she makes it up, I'm sorry, not uh, yeah. Melissa, um, Melissa McCarthy would feel so much pain and be bruised up. She would have because they were slamming her around. She was slamming other people around. She would be bruised. And also, when Leslie Jones slaps her at the end of it to get it out, she felt that. Yeah. So why did she not feel her head? Any, I don't know. But also, one of the biggest things that I thought was. The stupidest aspect of it, she has this superhuman power, right? Or strength. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Superhuman strength. Throwing oh. people around. But when Leslie Jones just goes literally lightly like that, taps her. Lightly, lightly. Yes. She flies. And it's like, does Leslie Jones just automatically have superhero <laughs> that strength? That's black woman strength. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with that. And how is Kate McKinnon like literally hanging on for that long? She's hanging on for that long and no one's able to lift like for the same this reason whole that fight our, our boy I, survived in the beginning, I guess. This entire I said what the fuck fight scene. I, I was hated that. Cracking this. up so hard when what? she was hanging from the windowsill where she could have easily let go and, and just, just held on to the sign. There was that sign ledge literally right there. She would have been okay. So I think we need to circle back to the point that this Do we? movie doesn't Do make we? sense. <laughs> <laughs> This movie doesn't have a, one plot hole. I can't even find one. No. It's yeah. Oscar worthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think this is a great one for young women and feminists. And I think this we're like ready to just end it at this point. I really Female am. empowerment, especially with the uh, super strength. Ugh, so all that stupid, they got knocked out. I don't know, Aaron's over there trying to convince, who did she go to the mayor and be like, this the shit's real, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I don't remember what happened at this point because I think she's like oh. laughed out. I learned this is when I started fast forwarding. I was like, okay, she's trying to convince people things. Okay, this is so. She black. was trying to get to the mayor to be like, look, you have to like shut the city down or evacuate everybody because she, they're gonna all hell's about know. to break loose. Yeah, yeah. Literally. She did it in the worst way possible though. She made herself seem crazy. Like you could have been like, oh yeah, hello sir. Uh, there are ghosts, and I know you won't believe me, but she like. But he did, right? He did believe her. at that point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah he was but just like, it out. but they like the way them. she did it, like she got like security to like throw her out. She's like freaking oh, out. She's like, oh my god, there's ghosts everywhere. It's I was like, internally <laughs> screaming at the part where she's trying to get into the building and keeps trying to slide the windows open because she thought they were doors, and it's just like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what? I did. I didn't see that. I did enjoy forward. the uh, joke though about um, how the mayor got really angry that he was compared to the mayor from Jaws. That I was very funny. Much, yeah. I very much that enjoyed that joke. I was yeah. like, oh wow, there is good rating in here sometimes. Yeah, there are those By sometimes little. It's like three times. They did yeah. have some. There was some things in this movie that were like, that was enjoyable. Yeah. And what happened to the rest? They like dumpster to improv fire. and just threw the script away. Dumpster fire. They went through the dumpster fire and picked and the ashes. Yeah, they picked some of the ashes out. The and they're like, I had titties. <laughs> you, I know. <laughs> I know. Are oh. we allowed to draw on these? 
<laughs> yeah, right. We're never using this again. Just just like, yeah. Draw tits on them. Yeah. Yeah. Because who doesn't love boobs? We take boobs. our group picture, just the titties. <laughs> oh, the titties. We put the titties. We love tit. Like everyone fucking loves titties. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's something the world can do. We can probably a world peace if we all just agree that we all love titties. Right. Because we all love titties, but yeah. some people don't want to admit it. True. Yeah. I mean, they're just like they're. They're pillows. They yeah. are. They're, they're chest pillows. pillows. They, they are, are chest pillows. pillows. They're nice and soft. And mm-hmm. do you know how many times I've almost died uh, trying to lay on my stomach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't lay on my stomach. <laughs> yeah, no. I just go right <laughs> under my neck. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're laughing. Mitt and I were like, <laughs> 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 we lay on boards. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we all got tits, and they're all great. Yeah, like all titties are good. All and titties, I think the moral titties. of the story here is like, you know, they had tits. We so, have tits, so we're gonna be all right. <laughs> so we're gonna be all right in that extension. Yeah. I like it. We're gonna be, we're all, gonna right. be all right. Cool. We're gonna be all right. Titties save the world, and yeah. that's the end of this episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Uh, all so. right, let's wrap this up. I'm yeah, Aaron goes it. out, and then we're gonna do this. This is the part where I just started fast forward, so you guys are gonna have to like help me with this shit. Mm-hmm. We go out there. Monsters are. T- Aaron's like, holy shit! There's monsters everywhere. Mm. Oh. Dan Aykroyd actually shows Sorry, up. Right. You actually reminded me of the joke, which I did enjoy too, of um, which is like, oh my God, it's happening. But it was just a dumpster being pushed by because <laughs> everything was shaking. I was like, you know what? That's that was really good too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did like that. See, Why does that little... seem like work except for the beginning when she was trying to get in? It's like once she got inside, it was just like, oh, actually there's some actual comedy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. And then. And how is there's more of it, the extended cut that you watched. Like, yeah. I thought I should have watched that extended cut. Like, I feel like what I watched, like, there's so much. It was almost two hours. If you cut out that stupid shit and actually left in some of the good stuff, yeah. it actually would have been more enjoyable if you made it an hour and 15 or 20. Yeah. I bet you it could have been really yeah. good. And, like, decent. Yeah. Like, enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, So, she's they outside. Just way too much go on for way too long. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Way too long. Yeah. So, we have Dan Aykroyd. Mm. That shows right. up. He was the taxi. Uh, he was the I taxi driver. That. Not gonna go. Back and she to would that. not. He didn't believe that there was ghosts, cause he ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> right. Yeah. Didn't he like say too? Oh, they're only like class five wisps or something. Yeah. How like, does Aaron not be like? Oh. Yeah. He literally says that, and Aaron's like, "But there's ghosts attacking and blah blah blah." Like, he back just to- said things. I swear those are actual ghosts flying around. And a class five floating vapors. Nothing to worry about. I made a note about that. So there was like T1 to T5, mm-hmm. according to Abby. Yeah. Yes. T3 was soiling yourself. We never got an explanation of the, tears? the scale or the yeah. graph or the tears. Like they just keep mentioning it. They what does the T mean? Mention, but all of the ones they mentioned were titties. T- were t- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scale. Titty one to five. <laughs> All of the ones they mentioned were T3, right? Or T4, one of those two. So it was like, what is the scale? What so is, then what's what's a T1? It's like the hurricane scale from uh, one, which That's is what like, I was thinking. like no wind to five, which is like torrential wind. Okay. That's yeah. what I was thinking. So it was like one five, is like nothing. No activity. Yeah. Three is like a kind of scary. Wouldn't it be the opposite with them though, then? Because they said tier five for the little wisp boys. Okay, so, so I guess it's tier, tier one, one is the, the big highest. boy. So oh the, man, why did they do that? Okay. So like Marshmallow Man is tier one. Yeah, I hate it too. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you would think so. Or like Rowan would So be like, I mean, it Rowan makes sense is... saying tier three no matter what for like the poop in your pants thing, whatever, because it's in the middle. But like, I, I don't I, Also, they like did this know. for half the movie and then they switched from saying T1, T3, whatever, to... Like, I, I don't even remember I know. the term that they used to, like... I don't... It was weird. It was stupid. It was yeah. stupid. So, Dan Arcard shows up, blah, 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 blah. He leaves. I'm not afraid of no ghosts. Be right. soft, because see... I don't go to Chinatown. Yeah. And then we see Slimer. He doesn't go to Chinatown, he said. Yeah. So no one gets good Chinese food in this movie. Clearly. Okay. Did we cover Kevin getting possessed? Does that no, happen yet? No, we didn't. Oh. Uh, cause, cause, yeah, because <laughs> what's like, her name doesn't get possessed. Yeah, Wait, does, 
did he already get possessed yet? No, it was right after um, Melissa McCarthy's character. Yeah, because he had to find slapped out. Right, because it was he, slapped out. And he then, comes in his little suit. Oh, and he's like, so I want to help. It's all of us. And oh, then it possesses why is this him. Movie over yet? They should have immediately known long. that he was possessed because that sentence was already too too eloquent for you. <laughs> I also enjoyed that like they were like before he got possessed like oh yeah come inside come yeah. inside come on come well, in and, like it wouldn't have just chased him inside. Yeah. Also uh, why does he think he's going to be a ghostbuster now too? He's just wearing the alpha. He's like I'm going to be a ghostbuster too. It's my life dream to be a ghostbuster. Be included, uh, like it, I, like it didn't even make sense. It didn't even make sense. Why why? I don't know. Why? I, I just And then he gets possessed and then all of a sudden oh, Hope he knows how to ride a motorcycle. Oh, he does. And yeah, he's doing a fucking wheelie down. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this movie. If I could possess uh, Chris Hemsworth, I'd basically tell the Ghostbusters to F off. I would, I don't know what I would do, but he's very conventionally attractive and I would be going places. That's a great way to put it. Very conventionally attractive. <laughs> I just <laughs> screw the whole ghost setup. Like, I don't know. New York can burn in hell. I am going to pursue a career in California. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, know. there's yeah, so much the end of the do. world. I can go and like get rich. I'm like, hot now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hot now. Oh yeah, hot and eight. smart. Holy yeah. shit. Oh yeah, because he's really he's smart. smart. He's got five he's degrees. He's got five degrees, and he looks like Chris Hemsworth. Come on, Fuck that shit. So Forget the, the ghost. World. And he could control the ghost. Once that all is taken over, yeah, he's good. Man. He's got it in. Impressive. And even if he does Come sound on, crazy, Rowan. you're hot. No one cares. Yeah. Yeah. You can finally get what you wanted. Yeah. He's white. And yeah, he's white. And he's a white male. He's perfect. What he's a beautiful he white male. He could have been living the dream, but he was too worried about them. <laughs> See, he people. did it wrong. <laughs> the one thing that I did hate after he, uh, the Norman guy, possesses <laughs> the Kevin's broken. body, he's like, "Oh, I should have worked out some more." Like right as he's like entering the scene to open the portals yeah. back up, yeah. and then he's like, "I really should have worked out," and I'm like. Okay, and then he doesn't say it again, and it's like, okay, where did where did the rule of threes of comedy go, S- or just just say that one line, or not and then even leave have it alone? It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like what? He's stupid. Also, what was the scene with him holding the pictures up? What did that have to do with anything? Oh, and he's like, show me which one I look better as a doctor. Me, well, I actually laughed at this. Me and my group chat. Which was better? Is it me playing the sax, sax? Yeah. Yeah. Playing playing the sax <laughs> or me listening to the sax? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually laughed. I was like, because I love stupid jokes, like stupid, stupid jokes. Yeah. Yes. I am obsessed with the comedian, um, uh, Amazing Jonathan. Amazing Jonathan is a hilarious, okay. hilarious comedian. He does okay. like stupid like magic. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> but the way he does it is just so fucking funny. You know, he says an assistant. And I don't know how because it's not it's corny, but it has an edginess to it. Like the way he just does it is so phenomenal. I but there's a magician. Really? Girl, I wanna get I wanna know more about you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds interesting. Right. Let's wrap right. this bullshit up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but the joke was that. The assistant was running around and she had a B, like the letter B yeah. behind her. Mm-hmm. And Amazing Jonathan's like, she's getting chased by a B. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I started dying laughing. There's a B. That is but it was like this stupid it. little, but the way they do- did it, yeah. it was perfect. Yeah. Where it's just so stupid. It's funny. And that's the same thing with his joke of do playing the sax or listening to oh After just getting off so the phone funny. with their client. It's so funny. That's I shit. think he bothered me more than he should have because like He's, I've worked in administration and I've had coworkers. That are that dumb. Oh my God. I <laughs> love fucking with those coworkers. <laughs> because I treat them as, that's the thing is you get so angry with dumb coworkers. The best way to handle it is act like they're a child because you won't get mad at a child for being angry or doing that's something true. stupid. So that's yeah. what I started doing. And then you start talking to them like a child and they have no idea. They're all they for have it. No idea. They're totally for it. Cause they're like, you're speaking slower and I can understand right. now. They're like, well, well I like you. Yeah, because it's easy. They're yeah. like, oh, now, now it works. I understand it now. The best thing to do is talk to stupid people like they're a child. Cause some people are dumb and that's okay. People are dumb. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Revelation. Rowan Kevin is opening that portal. Releases uh, all the ghosts. Releases all the ghosts. That's yes, right. He goes Slimer. back. Whatever. We see Slimer. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't Slimer's mind Slimer. Thing. I didn't hate Slimer. Slimer he steals was just their there. car. Yeah, it was there. Goes on a joyride. Yeah, I didn't hate it. Didn't love it. It was there. Yeah. I need to know. What's this? 
I need to know. I need you to branch. Which one? This one? On that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll get to that one. I'll get that. <laughs> I just, at that point, I was just writing stupid things. <laughs> oh, my God. So, the line that was said. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, so all of a sudden, we do have the Stay Puff yeah. Marshmallow Man. Yeah. yeah. Who yeah it is was all, all the, it was like Macy's the Macy's Day, Day Parade. And, yeah. 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 Was someone supposed to be like Abraham Lincoln? Like I don't know. I was fast forwarding toward this through this part. So, I don't know. Yeah, they were the coming down. Watch too closely. They were popping all the ones, but somehow the Stay Puff, even though we didn't see that one oh, coming up at I all, hated this part. He comes and he squishes them. <sighs> yeah, and he they're about them to suffocate. Like, they're even though underneath. they're talking. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. talking. They can clearly coherently. Breathe. Like it's like, oh, this is how I die. And it's like, okay, if you were actually imagined. dying, you wouldn't be able to speak. Just no. like uh, masks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh. I'm sorry. Huh. <laughs> Can you breathe it? So, <laughs> yeah. So, Aaron when they're hears, giving a, Yeah, Aaron hears it. Saves them. Because when they're getting their equipment or whatever, they're trying on like every freaking Batman movie and everything where they're trying on, they're trying different cool technology and gadgets. Mm. Fucking uh, Kate McKinnon hands her. A fucking utility knife. Utility oh yeah. It's like the no woman should never yeah, every woman, yeah. 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 No woman arm or something. should yeah never go around unarmed. I was like that ain't gonna do shit. No, so it's just you give this bit, give her at least mace yeah. or a yeah. knife. Like I have knives and Leathermans with me. Like yeah. that's, that's, that's literally like, whack that too. out of my hand. If I was just like get away from me, they'd be do like. Do you know how big a knife is on those things? I don't think that is sharp. It's like a nail file. Also, yes, that's the it's first thing. The thing. Like, well, not self defense, but like they tell you not to carry weapons like that because they can be used against you. Yeah, they can be used. What you do is yeah. you actually take the keys and you put you um, as a female. It's, we're like, we're literally knuckles? we're taught this I'll as a child. We are taught this as a child how to protect ourselves, which that's is true. a whole nother thing. That's a whole nother tangent on why we have to be taught how to protect ourselves instead of how about we teach people not to attack, right? Or like, there's a whole nother thing. I just think that. People are going to be violent either way. Either way, yeah, yeah, that's very true too. But put um, keys in between our fingers yeah. Yeah. when you walk to a car. Mm -hmm. yeah. That way, it's it's easier. You are Logan. Also, also just like soul. quickly yes. open the car door with your <laughs> fist too. Yes. Well, yeah. I got that beat. I got that beat. beat. Um, the joke before that too was like unnecessary because I, I mean I get why it was supposed to be funny but when she's like you can have anything on this table <gasps> except that one right she's like no and I'm it's like, like well then just don't say the previous line just let her go and pick and be like no not that one and then you know yeah it was there were so many lines that were unneeded were obnoxious and, and oh loud. this grenade thing is only gonna hurt a ghost and then it explodes and it bl and and blows a bunch of <laughs> Stop, stop. That entire scene I hated. I, I'm stupid. done with this okay. anyway. So. so yeah, she pops the fucking, also these, those, I don't know if anyone's ever been close to like the Macy Day balloons. Like, no. They are thick. Mm. They are not this thin little thing where you just, oh, I think I it's because they yeah, are possessed like because they disintegrated too. Okay. So, so that, I, does that I, mean you can just also take like the mannequin, I guess. Yeah. Can you just take anything? Can I have like my nails then, Papa? With a, with possess, a ghost? Like a ghost? Then? If it's a ghost, it doesn't matter what it's. Can in. I just go after a ghost? Yeah. I, I mean, that I would say yes. Yes. She is a Swiss Army knife, so. Yeah. So, does this all I need to defend if myself it, against ghosts? Yes. Yeah. Oh. You should go. know that. We're good. Oh, okay. Oh, guys, yeah. I'm good. I, I am a real <laughs> Ghostbuster. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I'm just going to skip a little bit. Uh, then they're in the hotel. Mm. This is where that line I wrote that you yeah. wanted. Okay. He's, and they're doing their thing with him, whatever, like their little back and forth or whatever, because he's still possessing Kevin. Right. And this is when he goes around and oh, says, Oh, and now I know what you this? mean. And it, I hated this part. And he okay. walks and he jumps on this. Oh, is this a little too Peter Pan for you? Is this a little too Peter Pan? Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll embrace it. <laughs> and I was like, And the sparkles oh. when he flew. Yeah, I hated that too. I was like, Stop! Stop! I like don't need all these end. references. Stop it. Yeah. Stop. Oh, I don't want Peter anymore. Pan reference than let's sexy ass Captain Hook is following. <sighs> I don't know. Oh. That, what was it? Uh, Leslie Jones's character says to him like, oh, can you take like form of something uh, like not scary? Because he ends up like leaving Kevin because he's like, yeah. whatever, I'm done with him. And yeah. he just like yeah. drops him to the ground. He's making me feel dumber or something. I'm actually like kind of sad they ended up using this. Oh, that's this. sad. Does he uh, say that? Yeah. He makes yeah. me feel dumber. So it's just in him? It's just That's him. so sad. Just they wrote is. his character just he's just, in, he's just, just him dumb, dirty. Dumb. Even someone with five degrees can't like, that's so sad. 
<laughs> You're feeling oh, for Kevin. I feel so See, bad. Now, now you feel for Kevin. Now I feel bad for Kevin. Yeah, you I'm, hated Kevin. I did hate Kevin. I'm just I sad that, that they one. actually ended up using this character to yes, be like the big the, like stay puff. Yes. I don't like that. I wish it was the titty one. I think that yeah. would have been so that funny. That would have been hilarious. That would have right? been that. super funny. I would have laughed Panic. so hard. I was hard. talking about totally the talking later. Like, really oh, maybe well. like oh, Kevin God. had like <laughs> the no picture Hannah. in his like pocket or something, and when he dropped him, it fell out. I think yeah, because they shoot him in the dick. Can you? They shoot him in the dick, whatever. Could you imagine wait, they just titties with him? Said. What did you yeah. just say? I think uh, if this had titties and like, like you know how this was like the final villain. Yeah. If it was the titty version of this, I think the toys would have sold really well. Yes. yes. I was just thinking about yes. like uh, I can't when they I fight it as a pillow. Yeah. I know too. Yeah. Yes. I was just saying when they uh, fight, like and they the defeat the thing pillow. at the end. <laughs> So like how if he had titties, how they shot him in the dick? Yeah. yeah. If it was the girl, they just gave him like a titty twist. Yeah. Or just, yeah. Oh my god, that would have been hilarious. Right? That would have been funny and better yeah. than a queef joke. Could have like popped the, the titties Instead and of, then yes, something like or that. like hit, hitting each nipple or something like that. Yeah, like, it's like a target practice. They have like the girls in these like the B movies and stuff like that. Yeah. Where the, the, they just fire out the tits and stuff like that. Two awesome and two. powers and That's every awesome Katie powers right video. there. Yes. Yes. I. Oh my god. That's okay, guys. That's what I want for Christmas. I want titties? a body pillow with the, the ghost with the titties on it. Get on it. Okay. <laughs> we'll buy it. <laughs> we'll buy it. <laughs> I want a titty ghost pillow. Yeah. Who doesn't want a titty ghost pillow? That's true. Right. I can do you one better. I can draw a titty ghost. That's all I can offer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to design it. Yeah. And then we're going to put yeah, it yeah, in. We'll yeah, 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 yeah. I literally tape her picture. I print it out and tape it on a body pillow. <laughs> That's all you have to do. That's all I'm going to do. I technically have a body pillow. <laughs> Just buy the anime uh, one and, yeah, and tape her exactly photo. Exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so they shoot the fucking thing in the dick. Right. So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that they actually had to use the, because um, they actually mentioned as a plot point, the uh, curse as a. Uh, a weapon thing because of the bomb thing on the top. So Slimer just conveniently comes back with his girlfriend. Girlfriend. And actually kind of said she didn't have titties. Oh. That would have been really funny. They just put makeup on her and it's just like, oh, yeah, she just has that would have been really funny if she it's had how like, you can well, tell you know a girl. What? That's, yeah. That's like, the only way you could tell when something's a girl is when it has lipstick on. Yeah. Or if it's like a lighter shade. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I wish it was titties. Uh, <laughs> that I would just laugh at. Hey, they're uh, they're not discriminating, you know. They said yeah. itty bitty with titty this at committee. Least. <laughs> yeah. So they do that. They never say that they cross streams or anything like that. No. Random note that I have <laughs> that in the Aldridge Mansion, uh, Gertrude must have seen Home Alone with that first stunt she pulled with the doorknob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She tried to get out. And it was on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. Speaking of crossing streams, I noticed that when um, the blonde character, she's like, oh, don't cross the streams or else it's going to kill you. In the end, they cross streams and they don't die. And it's like, they well, don't okay. That's what in the original the Ghost- Yeah, exactly. Well, that's in the original Ghostbusters yeah. where they say that cross streams or something horrible might happen. But they and don't- And it doesn't happen. And it doesn't happen. So that's exactly- Thing that happens in the original, but it's not. It's, it's like not definitive well. that yeah. you're going to die if you I cross streams. Yeah, I think in the one. original they said, "Be careful, don't cross streams." If I remember this right, something might happen. Yeah, it's not a definitive thing. Yeah, right. in the original, but in this one it is. They make it at least sound like it, and they do it. And I just, I don't. They tried too hard to make it like the original instead of making its own. Yeah. While it should have been its own thing. It should have. It's kind of like uh, the newer Star Wars. They basically redid A New Hope instead of making it its own thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Yes. I have a secret. Uh-oh. I've never seen Star Wars. Ever. What? And better. I probably won't. Honestly, you're better okay. off. Yeah. Are you not, like, you're just not into, like, sci-fi or? No, I love sci-fi. I've just never seen it. I don't know why. I think, just watch the original first three. No, That's all but, you can do. Just, only watch I, everyone the first. Everyone tells me something different. Only and watch like, in four orders. and five. That's my recommendation. Yeah. Avoid everything else. Okay. Honestly, as an actual Star Wars fan, I would say just watch the original first two. Okay. I hate Return of the Jedi. I, I, really? seen, I, I hated seen that one bits too. Bits and pieces of the original really? first one. That was the one that came out in what, the 70s? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen bits and pieces of that one. So okay. that was kind of a lot. Empire but Strikes Back. I've fully. Best Star Wars movie. Yes, I, agree. I will go with that. New Absolutely, good. I don't like, I like Return New of Hope. the Jedi. Really? 
I don't Especially not it. the 97 remake with the CGI characters. <gasps> that I one was, it's a tragedy. I can't stand we'll get all that the another, CGI. Another time. That, another yeah, time. that's a whole Let's other thing. This. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh. Let's so, get rid of this. They need the hearse. Slimer just conveniently comes back with his girlfriend. They have him crash into the giant pit that's forming or whatever. Yeah. He, the, the, as the portal closes, he's like jumping over the pit and then crashes into the portal and then the portal closes and everything's good now. We did oh, it. He grabs <sighs> Melissa McCarthy. Oh yeah, that and happens. That's right. right. Yeah, and pulls her in and then Abby and, has to help and Kristen Wiig's like, I am going in after you. We need one more tension moment. Let's For have some them, reason. Yeah, let's have him be in the portal. Also, I thought they were going to kiss at one point, whatever, because she jumps in and she's like, yeah. I'm not leaving you again. And I was like, are, are y'all about to like smooch? <laughs> y'all. I would have been like, Bye, bitch. You shouldn't post it. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, it's yeah. all karma. You win some, karma you lose got some. you, yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but she saves her. Everybody's happy. Right. And they come out with white and hair. And then they get the, they get the, uh, what do you call it? They get the firehouse. Yeah. The yeah. How? Yeah. I don't know how. I don't uh, know. Because they, they have money. It's the, I think it's the, the mayor the gave city. the money. Yeah. 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 He gave the money. Yeah. Because they should have used that money to pay for the damages. <laughs> well, you also no, see at the very end. Taxpayer money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's the matter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that happened, and, and I turned off the movie. But apparently, so more there's stuff more happened. that happens. It doesn't fucking end. Yeah. It didn't end. The roll credits. Yeah. So the credits start happening, and you see um, Kate McKinnon and all of them in the in the firehouse, and they're loving everything. Mm. Kate McKinnon's mentor shows up who is Sigourney Weaver. She's who has the I quirky, love I love Sigourney she Weaver. She's like one of my first crushes. It makes, oh yeah. Oh god. Oh, oh my god, yeah. her and Holes. Oh. oh my god. All of that, everything about her. Yes. So, and I think she's honestly just a badass in general. Yeah. She is what, you know what? I'm gonna fucking turn this around and say, not the movie, mm. but Sigourney Weaver is what I think the feminist type movies, or I don't even wanna say feminist type movie because it has such a bad, a bad reputation when you're saying feminist. Right. Her and Alien. She she does have a sexy scene where she's in her underwear, where she's fucking hot as hell. Yeah. But it's not. It's not sexualized. Also, it's not in sexualized. Too, right? Yeah. She is. Yeah. yeah. She's not sexualized. I love the fact that when she plays in Galaxy Quest, it seems very. She practical. plays oh, that. Yes, I love Galaxy Quest. Oh, it's so good. And she literally comments on how that's her only role. Yeah. She is the kind of character who can play badass, has that sexy appeal but has that strong woman hero. Yeah, and yeah. she doesn't put it in your face. She doesn't mention that she's the female. She doesn't mention these fucking queef jokes and shit. Right. She doesn't need that. She's she just, just there goes, as a person. She yeah. is kicking ass as a woman without it. She doesn't need, as a exactly, as a person. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what we need more of. More alien type movies with Sigourney right. Weaver. Yeah. More, more, like more Sigourney that. Weaver, yes. More, more Sigourney Gina Weaver. Yeah. And then Sigourney oh. Weaver comes in this. Oh. And I don't hate, like, I just, mm. she doesn't, I wish she <laughs> had. Are you now like, thinking about Tina Davis? I'm just, I'm just like, Elizabeth Hurley. There's oh, so yes. many. Rachel Weiss. Yeah, oh, oh yes. my God, Take, Rachel Weiss. Get rid of this mm. bullshit and add that. That's what we need. Yeah. That's what we need. We don't need this Not fucking this fake shit. pandering. That's what it is. Yeah. It's full pandering that actually does the opposite. Yeah. So she shows up in this movie. Uh, very, very small saying that she's a mentor. And you know what? Scorty Weaver is a fucking mentor. I agree. Yeah. She should be a fucking, but then to don't, like, I feel like she was also, oh, like she's just there in the credits at the end. And also there's Winston who shows up, who is Leslie's uncle. Right, but yeah. not Oh uh, yeah, this is, yeah. There. That's what I was confused about. It's just yeah. him and he owns the funeral home. That's yeah. it. stupid. It's stupid. Like that's their cameos, really? Like why couldn't they have a big, like, but also it is kind of distracting on their cameos. So I have mixed well, feelings. That over, it was just bad. So is I this still wish that be... they were related to them somehow. One of them was related to one of them. Is this movie going to be non-canon like... then? Because the yeah, new this, one. This is technically the... a reboot. Okay. This, yeah, this yeah. would be a complete I was revise. Because there's another re... one coming out, correct? Yeah, yeah I think this is life. going off of the originals though. Yes. Right. Yes. So yes. it's ignoring 2016. It's totally okay, ignoring. wonderful. Which is interesting <laughs> because, like, yes. <laughs> so since so the credits are rolling, they go up to the top of the building and it says, I love GB, Ghostbusters, and mm. saying like, oh, I guess, you know, the city does appreciate us and love us. That and it was kind of okay. I didn't hate it, hate it, but I was like, I All right, did so, but like it's the a, one it's scene when they were trying to think of a slogan. 
And she said, you know, see something, say something. And they were like, oh, no, that's the oh. terrorist thing. And she's trying to think of something. And she's like, uh, if there's something strange. But it went so low and under the radar. And I was like, oh, Ghostbusters. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of little hidden gems in oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like when, especially, I think it was that scene you're talking about. Like, she's like, oh, uh. What do we call ourselves? And then the TV's like, ghost jumpers. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, those phonies. I'm like, yeah. oh, great. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a also, lot of that. It's so weird for them to have so many current references like Reddit and Amazon and all this it, stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, that's it's also weird. a lot of product and for the It's ghost, a, lot a lot of product But placement. it was yeah. weird for them to have so many uh, current things and then like for the Ghostbusters to have never existed in that universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do agree. And well, then so there's the final. Yeah, I was gonna credit. say there was another credit scene, right? At the very, very end, where I'm just like, oh my god. And you got, I mean, I didn't really want to skip through all of Chris, Hem uh, Chris Hemsworth dancing in the credits or whatever oh that was happening. But I mean, he was like, I didn't know this was happening. I yeah, literally saw the I end of the movie it. and I was like, <laughs> click. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I go all the way to the very end because I saw something there. I always, I now check because I've missed way too many end credit like mm -hmm. scene, like yeah. scenes. And now I go, holy fuck, Leanne. I'm like, all right, did I miss anything? And I did. Um, this is when Leslie Jones' character is listening to the tape, this tape over and over. It's like, that's weird. I hear, sounds like they're mentioning the name Zool. What's Zool? <sighs> oh. And I was like, why is it? What? 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 Why the what? That, I wonder. What? What? Are Wasn't you, are he you... already defeated, right? No, th he Wasn't doesn't he exist from... yet. He doesn't exist yet. It's Remember, it's a reboot. It's a set, it sounds like it sets up for a sequel. So oh, in the original, so, you oh, have Zool, you have... Okay. Exactly, it's so not what? connected. Exactly, and I was like, why are you why now... Why would you defeat the same person, too? That but they're not, they're not the same person. So Rowan, even though Rowan is kind of embodying Zool and all right. that, right. he's not, he's his own character. Now all of a sudden Zul comes in. Now Zul comes in. At the end. Wait. So Zul is from the original. Right? Oh, it's from the original. Yeah. Yes. Zul is the one that is in charge. Is the the main god, and everyone else are like the there, demi god. Right. There is no. Um, oh my god. What was her name? Sigourney Weaver's character in the first one. Oh. Oh, there was no. They didn't have any type of romance or no, anything. No. What was her name? Um, there was no whatever. There was um, only Zul. Oh, there's no. Um, I know. Names suck. Dana. Dana. Only Zul. Only Zul. Only okay, Zul. Yep, right. I have it. There is no Dana, only Zul. All right, so uh, what did you think so about this movie be overall? Be I'd rate it a six out of nine. Okay, that's... Are we going out of nine? No, I'm just joking. I'm giving it a zero <laughs> out of nine. <laughs> well, because you know what I think? I think well, you're gonna, you're you're gonna, gonna, gonna knock down gonna, the female yeah, empowerment go. mug. That's what I think about that. And then I'm just gonna. Yeah. yeah. Well, IMDb actually rated this as a 6.5 out of 10, and Rotten did Tomatoes they? actually did a 74%. Really? I wouldn't trust and, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I don't. Well. I don't trust them at all. Yeah. And I would say this would be an interesting movie if you've never seen Ghostbusters ever yeah. before, and this is just a movie that happens to be on, right. and you're a young child, and it's because there's ghosts colors. and stuff. It's, yeah. an, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're kind of like messed up on if some acid or something, this could be high. interesting. You're watching the colors. Acid. <laughs> yeah, because there's so many colors. I like the neon in this. Yeah. It's a lot of colors. Yeah, yeah. That's the so colors. So if you're kind of fucked up on some shit, it was definitely so like what some do you good rate it out of ten. If I'm talking about me as a person, I hated it. I would say I, there was definitely some little silver lining, a couple little good jokes. I'd say a, a three out of ten. Okay, I'd, I'd probably give it a four. Wow, you're rating it higher than me. I think Same mainly more. because I thought it just overall looked nice. Right. Yeah. I'm not just judging it by plot. Right. I don't. It it looks nice, but it looked too similar to the original. It seemed like they tried to. Oh, they were 100 percent trying to just think, do that as a cash cow thing. 100. Yes, percent And but, it just it looked okay. I think it could have looked better. You yeah. know, a lot of things could have been better. I think it could have <laughs> right. looked better. The ghost I liked. I liked a very few of the lines, but when there was a good line, I did like it. Um, I did like there was a character, there was no romance, and there was a somewhat of a character arch right. between Abby and Aaron as like a friendship type of thing. I thought that was kind of cool, mm -hmm. but yeah, Chris Hemsworth, I think that Chris Hemsworth is the only reason why I give it a 
That's an extra point. Yeah. Yeah. I give it a four because it's not the worst movie. It's definitely I've not the seen, worst. But I wouldn't watch it again. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I've only saw it once and then I had to rewatch it for this. Yeah, same. And I still nothing really sticks. There's like a few things. Right. right. And there's like, a difference between bad movies versus pandering movies. Right. Yeah. I love bad movies. Yeah. Yeah. Love bad movies. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah, too. Yeah, me too. But this is more of like, it's throwing it down your throat. It's pandering. It's trying to force something that shouldn't, the, you're forcing it wrong. Right. It's like, Forcing something the wrong way. They're down missing the point throat, I guess. of yeah. like yeah. what, like supposed to be feminist or yeah. girl power or it's whatever. Not. It just it's it, not. it completely just misses the mark. Yeah, it it's misses terrible. the mark. I would always prefer the first one. The theme song, I even didn't. There's one song yeah. I liked in this. If we want to talk soundtrack real quick, it's called I think it's called Good Girls or Bad Girls. It's by uh, Ellie King. Okay. Okay. There's actually it's in the credits. I actually really like that song. But besides no, I that, I hated the the new version. I think it's by Fallout Boy. I think okay. did the and Missy Elliott. I think it's mm-hmm. Fallout Boy and Missy Elliott that did the uh, the new Ghostbusters song. I'm just like huh. maybe it's because the old one's so nostalgic. Some things just shouldn't. Something shouldn't be remade. Yeah. 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 Something should be remade. And then also, if you're going to do a gender swap, don't force the fucking gender swap. Don't force it. Don't make everyone so pandering and throw it down your yeah. goddamn throat. Yeah. How about you make some characters fucking strong? How about you make a strong character and strong character arches instead of making strong females strong And also men. actual characters right. with a personality yeah. and maybe yeah. some flaws too because if there's nothing to relate to, why the hell am I watching this? It has like, to be relatable. There yeah. has to be like something to be like, oh. I felt about sci-fi. Oh yeah. I lean more towards horror and I think that's ultimately why this movie disappointed me. I did go into it understanding it's a comedy because that's what Ghostbusters has always been. Yeah. But they did lean into some aspects of like good horror. Like when I would see certain ghosts, I was like, oh, and they're giving us this backstory, but they never fully went into it. Yeah. And it was like, oh, okay, well now I'm just left wanting. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that was a lot of this movie where you get, sorry, you get a tiny bit and then it's nothing. Like they almost start being good. And then they're like, oh no, 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 we don't we don't want to do that to yeah. you. Yeah. Let's like back it up. Yeah. 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 I didn't like it. So what's your honest rating out of ten? Uh, I'd say four out of ten. Just cause it was good colors. I really liked the color choice. Like the visuals. Yeah, yeah the visuals. It was, it was aesthetically pleasing. I was mo I was more focused on the colors more than the soundtrack. I didn't really notice the soundtrack as much, but I especially liked some of the lights that they had, like off to the side, just like right off the screen. I think at one point it was like pink behind them and like green and like, wait, pink in front of them, green behind them. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I like that choice. Yeah. And then. Also the new costume. Uh, yeah. Like, nice. Hate, it was nice. Yeah, it I definitely. Bad. Yeah. It, there was an attempt, but not a very good Mine one. Was Kevin. <laughs> The the blue for the ghosts, the especially the especially the design of the Eldridge Mansion ghost uh, was really good oh, too. Oh yeah, she was actually I like that you could see her gorgeous. Rib cage. Yeah. yeah, and then when she the, turned aggressive, yeah. top dress and then the ribs. Yeah. And when yeah. she turned aggressive, I love that that change in her face. Yeah, I thought that, like, those, like those that. are like the, the little horror aspects. I feel like these ghosts were a little bit. More on the scary side, yeah. than the mixed initial. with the haunted mansion, yeah. which I really like. I think mm-hmm. if you make haunted mansion another step up, you get what this Ghostbusters did. Right. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely think that <sighs> kid, the, f- kid friendly creepy. Yeah, yeah. I definitely yeah. think that the anim the the special effects people had more fun. I mean, not more fun, but definitely did a better job, in my opinion, than the lead actors, especially with making it like a good movie. If there was like no special effects at all, I'd give this like a two out of 10. The special effects bump it up like two points for me. All right. Yeah, yeah. I just felt like the actors were just trying to out yeah. comedy each other. Yeah, or they just and made a movie. Being the same character. Yeah, <laughs> they made a movie that they would like. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. I'm sure that they enjoyed, or I hope they did at least. <laughs> Seventy no, million like, dollars for them. Yeah, maybe like a week ago. I think. It was seventy million dollars. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot. Yeah, it didn't look. Like or it. Yeah. actually, over Minus seventy million effects. was the, on marketing again, the special alone. Special effects like the ghost. Yeah, how much was it on marketing alone? Uh, seventy million. Seventy million was on marketing alone. Yeah, that's crazy. Cool. You were just saying uh, it's a movie that they would like. Apparently, like I think it was like maybe a week ago. 
Melissa McCarthy like still came out like on in an article because she was like promoting some other movie she was doing, and she's like, "Yeah, I still understand the hate," and it's just like, how? But how? all of our movies, I see. I'm not a Melissa McCarthy fan. I'm not. That's just not my thing. That's just not my style of movies that she's mm. in. So I can understand why yeah. she didn't see this. Yeah. But I mean. This comes out on your birthday, man. Yes. So happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. It'll be happy my birthday, 21st birthday. Woo! Woo! <laughs> happy 21st birthday. And yeah. we celebrating Ghostbuster style. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Um, do we have anything else that we want to add? Uh, I guess, you know, keep checking out Hack the Movies. Yes. Keep yeah. watching us every Monday and Thursday. Keep yep. watching us, listening to us. There's so many other awesome Screenwave ones. Uh, Cinemasker podcast, talk about games. Gab uh, about Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Peg Warmers. Yes. Yeah. There's almost every day this week, uh, or every week, there's something to listen to that's really cool and really different. So yep. keep listening to those. Um, what about you guys? You guys do your own stuff. Well, uh, we got ASC Presents, where um, my boyfriend Riley and me have a channel and we do things such as we actually have this uh, product review show that's going to be monthly. Uh, we also are doing daily vlogs, which are available on our Patreon at patreon.com slash ASC presents. Uh, and it's Riley and our adventure, Riley and I's adventure, a long life or whatever. And then <laughs> uh, what else exists? Uh, there's. There's a lot of stuff on ASC Presents YouTube. Just look it up. You'll find videos. Uh, but there's also... I'm part of Yig Studio, which is... Um, the artist formerly known as Digibro's uh, anime channel. And I help... Her, she's Trixie the Golden Witch now. I help her with... Uh, is that like, a human echo reference? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like an anime. <laughs> Probably. Slash visual novel I don't, I'm not an anime person. Okay. <laughs> um, I help her with like thumbnails or like especially for void gazers. I did a, some of those uh, thumbnails. Um, I'm helping. We're actually creating an anime that will be out sometime next year. <laughs> and then next year or the year after that. It'll be next year for sure. Um, but then. There's also Branches of Yig, which is a music channel that uh, Riley runs. I'm like promoting all of my stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Like even yeah. if it's like tangent yeah. to leave related to me, I just promo. Uh, Branches of Yig, which is a hip hop channel. I also do some of the thumbnails on there too. And then what else? Uh, it's Mint Salad on Twitter and Instagram. You can find my art there. Woo. I draw a lot. I've done a lot of Hack the Movies fan art. Yes, yeah, you, you have. have. Yeah. yeah, you have. She draws as well. <laughs> <laughs> and cool. I, that's all I have cool. that yeah. I can think of so far. Okay. Uh, mm. I mean, I don't have much going on. You guys can follow me on Instagram uh, at kira.mortis. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Go follow these two. You see us. My commissions are open, by the way. Pop this open. We're going to, I mean, oh, yeah. we're going to pop 20, more. It's even already, more for her 21st gonna, birthday. Yeah, yeah. Going nuts. Nuts. Cheers. Woo. Cheers, ladies. Let's do it. Yes. 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 No, I, I just think it's too, like, jarring of a change. Okay. What else? I think they were kind of all over the place from time to time. I think they could have used better direction. I think I know what's going on here. You do? You're afraid of ladies looking tough. You think you're the only one that can look badass and women can't. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not a badass. Speaking of me, my cameo seemed really distracting. I think it's going to pull people out of the review and kind of confuse them. It's really just going to remind them of the old show. So you're saying it's bad. And you wish the 19th Amendment didn't exist because you hate women. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just think it could be better. You don't have to get defensive and make this a political thing. At the end of the day, I just think Hack the Movies doesn't need a straight-up reboot. 
Okay. You may be right. But what do you say we did it again, but with kids? I'm done. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.